Hey everyone, how are we doing tonight? I see we got Pax in the chat and Luca. Welcome back, Luca and Lynn. I'm muted. No, the mute thing is jumping. I'm definitely not muted. Hey, what's up, Secret Seeker? What's up, K-Dun? I'm going to unmute Gondola so you guys can hear my uh, collab friend for the evening. Okay, now they should be able to hear you. All right, hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. Back again with uh, more Terraria. But yeah, no, uh, I don't. I don't think we. Were, yeah, we didn't really plan anything we were gonna do for this one, did we? Let's just do whatever, right? Yeah, I think it do whatever was. comes natural. Yeah, is there something in your eye? No, it's just I have the lights off right now. <laughs> you're just like, or you're just winking to the chat. <laughs> yeah. No, I have the lights off, so it's not capturing the. It's not capturing the full thing. There it goes. That rib cage looks like. You have a party hat? Oh, you're what? talking about... He's talking about my laboratory. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see. I have, uh, I have some bones hanging from the wall. Hey, what's uh, up, yeah, Lightning? Yeah, yeah. What do you use them for? Uh, <laughs> bones are really good when they're uh, ground up and uh, used in different types of medicines. Ah, uh, Okay. Oh, yeah, Look. calcium and all that good stuff. Uh huh. Use eggshells as a calcium supplement for uh, for my garden. Gondola, you're flipping character. I love it. What do you mean flipping character? <laughs> can I'm you do a flip yet? Character. No, I can do this. Hold on. There you go. I can do that. <laughs> this, is my, this is best as I can do. Hey, what's up, Night Shadow? All right, how do I join you? Uh, you should just go to multiplayer. And Steam? Yeah, uh, joined via Steam. Oh, there you are. Yeah. And then, uh, if you remember the password. Oh god, it was so long. Uh, oh, it's the same one I used for my luggage. Alright, I'm in. Are you in? Yeah. Hey, we did it. Yeah, I'm already here. Yeah, I'm just going to make myself a little bit smaller because uh, I noticed I was covering up a big chunk of the oh, screen right there. Oh, I, uh, I zoomed you in. I, I wanted oh, to have okay. a big a big fuzzy friend in the corner. <laughs> no, no. Hey, what's I, up, I like, I like to be small. <laughs> All right, where are you at? I heard you already start. Oh, there you are. I'm right here. There he is. Let's go. Um, I remember uh, last time were... I got the gun. Oh, yeah. that's. Oh, yeah. We're... No, you already got the the gun guy. We were just saving up money to buy a gun now, weren't we? Oh yeah. Yeah, I think that's what it was cuz I got I still got 22 gold and 29 silver and 30 copper. Oh, were we going to save up and buy the mini shark since we're halfway I, to it or did you want to buy I the flintlock think, pistol? No, I I think we were saving up for the mini shark. Uh I don't remember though. Cuz that's but, uh, 39 the, gold <laughs> and 90 silver. Yeah, uh, how much gold do you have? Four. Four? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I bought all this, uh, I bought all that dynamite so we could break open the things so I could get the musket. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's cool. So we just gotta, we gotta find the rest of the gold or get more money. Yeah, 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 that, that's what we were doing because we ended up selling off a bunch of, a uh, bunch of old stuff to get, uh, to get more gold. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Hey, what's up, Mori? Yeah, we have a we had a big house so we could fit all the NPCs in. Yep, and then we gotta do the biome thing later. That comes much later. Yeah. There's a there's an yeah I, to, I told you about the uh, the other VTuber that I was watching that was that's been playing Terraria and she did uh she does Iron Man runs like hardcore Iron Man runs so oh. she'll uh delete the world when she dies yeah she she deletes the world and the character when she dies yeah that's it's, hardcore yeah it's insane dude because she was on a a 40 hour run for one world and then she messed up and no. deleted had to, she was like no I, I can't delete this world like she got too attached to it but uh 
she she doesn't play on it anymore so she had to she had to start a new you know new level or whatever new world uh what was her name pax is asking uh falu vt uh let me see let me type it out it's f a l o o v t and uh she's over on twitch uh she's really cool uh, i think she's going to get into final fantasy soon 14 because she no no uh, final fantasy in general oh okay yeah, because she was asking about it on her last stream, and she was like, oh, you know, like, what's what's the best place to start? And she got really confused about Final Fantasy XII and Final Fantasy X2. So that was, uh, that was fun trying to explain <laughs> the difference between, no, no, X, X2 is 10 part 2. Right. And 12 is Roman, nu numeral, Roman numeral 12. I and... never, I never finished 12. I uh, don't feel bad. 12's not that great. It is, uh... I don't know. Uh, I, d I didn't like Van or Pinello, so that's why I never finished it. Or why I got very far in it. Because uh, I could not stand those two people. And Van's like the main character, right? Yeah, he's he's supposed to... So do, do you know the, the backstory behind Van and Pinello? No. I literally started the game... I went out of the city and opened a chest, and then my friends okay, so were like, oh, you're not supposed to open that chest because it's yeah. like a trick chest. I was like, "Yeah, okay, this game's dumb. Why can't I... Oh, Van and okay, Pinello so... aren't the MC? Okay. No, so uh, Van and Pinello, they're not the main characters, but they were added into the story because Square Enix thought that uh, the story was too smart for gamers. <laughs> so Van and Pinello are literally stand-ins for you yourself because you're you're too stupid to understand what's actually happening. That's why I that's why I hate that game because every time Van opens his mouth, it's to say the stupidest thing ever. Well, how do you feel about the new Final Fantasy coming out where the one character says chaos every other word? Dude, I already bought that game. I'm I'm going to play it like <laughs> yeah. later tonight. I'm super excited to play it. Wait, you're buying it? You're playing it tonight? Yeah. It like after after yeah, it came out today. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh dude, okay, so the the two demos and multiple trailers was not enough for me to like be convinced on it. But I saw a stupid cutscene where the guy. So it, is it's it the one where he has the cell phone at the wedding? No, 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 no. It's a, it's a cutscene where how the three main characters meet up. Oh, they just all have resonating crystals. Yes, yeah, so they all have <laughs> shiny. They all have shiny rocks, and they just pull them out, and they're just like, it's like, it's like, dude, you got a rock? It's like, yeah, I got a rock. And he's like, dude, it's like, it's like, I'm gonna go kill chaos. And they're like, oh, sweet, we're gonna go kill chaos. We just all happen to have shiny rocks too, and, and we're all like, yeah. we're all we're all buff dudes just with yeah, shiny rocks gonna go like, kill I was chaos. like, okay, I'm I'm sold on this game. I don't know why, but I am. I'm sold on it now because having cool shiny rocks just resonates with me. Well, yeah, Final Fantasy at least four was about these things called crystals, and they had a yeah. crap ton of shiny rocks. So I guess oh, that makes man. sense. <laughs> I never played Final Fantasy 4. I played Final Fantasy oh. 3. Uh, like the Final Fantasy 3 on the uh, on the DS. And uh, I made it to the final area, but I was too strong. I, I was I, I felt like I was too strong for the area, but at the same time too weak for the area. And I wasn't game. Yeah, and I, and I felt like I wasn't getting like enough like experience from the area that I was supposed to be in. To level which was like up. you know yeah to like level up so i just kind of gave up on it but uh i don't know maybe i'll go back to it or something four i fun. like four a lot i i think on your first playthrough you're only looking at 24 yeah. hours oh that ain't too bad nah I, it was the one uh, that i played when i i was a kid and i had a super nintendo and it was like my first taste of jrpgs yeah so it's got uh, a special place in my heart even though i think six is probably objectively better Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, how can uh, you say that when you've never played four? Uh, because I just know. You know, six is that good. Yeah, you've... I mean, I did play six. Oh, okay. Well, then, fair enough. Yeah, I, I've. The, so my my history with Final Fantasy is very weird, because the only Final Fantasy games that I've been are Final Fantasy ten, ten two, and thirteen. 
But uh, I've played like 12, 7, 6, 3, 1 and 2. Uh, what else? A 6, you get to suplex the train. Heck yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I suplex that train. I saw the memes and I was like, I gotta partake in the meme. And I suplex that train. I was like, hell yeah. Why, why would I not suplex a train? Six doesn't but, uh, have a spoony bard. Fair. Yeah. Is four the one with barts? Or is that two? No. Uh, four is, is is Cecil, Rosa, Rydia, Edge, Kane. Okay, so I, that may be two that I'm thinking of then. I don't know then. Uh, I do have like Final Fantasy Origins on like the PS1, which is uh, Final Fantasies 1 and 2. That were... Somewhat re-released for the PS1, or I don't even want to say remade, but I think they had like a, a slightly better translation, and uh, they had a they had an animated cutscene. Oh, on for that it. was the the Final Fantasy anthologies on the PS1, where they had all the yeah, games. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And yeah. and did they have Chrono Trigger on there too? Uh, give me a second to go look because I do have them. Let me let me go check. Like they're. I was just there. talking about this last night, wasn't I? <laughs> No, it was at the end of Triangle Strategy I was talking about this. Why we need uh, more anthology releases of older games. Chat, how are you guys doing tonight? Did you guys have a good Friday? Alright, I'm back. So, uh, yeah, there, there's... It's, I it's... want to say two of them. It's Final Fantasy Origins. Uh huh. Which has Final Fantasy 1 and 2 on it. And then there's Final Fantasy Anthology, which has Final Fantasy five and six on it. Oh, and I thought they did a they added four there, onto there, it. There there is one that does have Chrono Trigger, but I don't have that one, I don't think. Oh shit, there's a slime attacking me. Okay, I'm good. What slime yeah, attacking? No, nah, there there was a slime attacking me. Oh. But uh I don't remember which one that was. Uh, give me a second. I should play Chrono Trigger again? Go for a different ending. I'm having a good Friday. Awesome, Zenji. Hell yeah. My day was kind of meh. Not horrible, but classic case of lack of communication between departments making duties at work more of a nuisance than they had to be. I feel that. Uh, I was, I was going to say, like, wait, are you talking about your day? Or nah, what? I'm reading chat's <laughs> days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I know you told me something a little earlier about that. I was like, damn, dude, that's... That sucks. Yeah, I also found out, so my badge, it um, expires every year, and I'm on a list of right. people that it has to be manually uh, renewed. Mm -hmm. uh, so expired last month, and I, I know I'm on the list to be manually renewed, and then I go to sign in with it, or swipe in with it, and then it's not working, so I call security, I'm like, hey, my badge isn't working, and they're like, Oh, we're still waiting. Uh, it hasn't been approved yet. I'm like, it's been a month and a half at this rate. <laughs> you know, when are you going to approve yeah. my badge so I can, I can come in here? So that was kind of funny. I found yeah. the double jump item nice. and two gold. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to dig out this way. I don't know. Digging in this game is just like very therapeutic. It's kind of weird. Especially oh yeah. When you get like when, when you get like a really fast pickaxe and you just like tunnel like nothing. Uh, even better when you can get a a pickaxe that can like grind through any material. Because I th I don't know if we can get through everything right now. No, not yet. Which I is why think... the dynamite is useful. Useful for yeah. digging. Yeah, no, I just got a, I got an iron pickaxe, so, eventually. Man, I'm running out of torches. Multiple people were in temp contract, got upgraded to permanent, and they're waiting for new badges. The current ones don't work, so I hear you. Rip. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, when uh when I was in the military, our badges didn't expire. It was mainly just our uh, our DoD ID cards that expired. But th those expired like every four years, and that was just because of uh, contract purposes. But uh, restricted area badges never expired unless you lost it, which is a very big no-no. It's 
uh, something you shouldn't be losing. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't imagine trying to have that conversation with a yeah. my boss <laughs> in the military. Hey, can I get another badge? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's it's happened. I, oh, I'm like, sure. I, was... I I lose my glasses, you yeah. know, and I need those to see. So, <laughs> I I could bet, you know, someone losing their uh, their RA badge or yeah. right, yeah. But uh, holy shit, what are these dogs doing? Being dogs. Yeah, they legit are. The the alpha dog thinks she's hot shit right now. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on real quick. I actually think they're trying to get into the restroom. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whoop. Yeah, they were actually trying to get into the restroom. Oh, those dogs are weird. I don't know how they do it, but they they somehow managed to like figure out a way to open up the restroom. And it's always just to drink toilet water. <laughs> Every time, dude. It's like I, I already give them enough water throughout the day, and then they still just want to go into the restroom for the toilet. I, uh, it's like, stop. I, 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 I think it's wild that there's some people who just give their dogs, like, dry food all day. Yeah. Like, just free in a bowl. And I'm like, okay, if Rocky would eat himself fat... <laughs> If I just said, hey, you can have all the food that you want, bud, just, you know. Oh, you, you, you're you talking about that. Uh, yeah, I, I know what type of feeding method you're talking about. We uh, we tried that with one of our dogs because we could never really figure out what his eating, like how much he needed. Mm -hmm. But he would just eat until he'd throw up and then he would just <laughs> continue to then, then he would just continue to eat. He was just a glutton. Yep. So we, we couldn't we couldn't do that for him because he was just hurting himself. And then, uh, yeah, and then so we were just like, all right, like, we ended up picking up one of those, like, food, food bowl mazes. I don't know if you've ever seen them. Yeah, I have them for Rocky. Yeah, yeah, we, we ended up picking up one of those for him because, like, he, he just wouldn't control himself if he, you know, if you gave him food. So, uh, the, this has actually been, like, really helpful because, like, he'll, he'll, like, legit just swallow his food without chewing. Rocky uh, will eat his food too fast and cause himself to throw up. Yeah. So that's, I that's I, the... I use the food the food mazes so that way he doesn't uh, give himself yeah. tummy aches. Yeah. Uh, one time though, I did leave the closet that I kept uh, the dog food in open, and uh, my littlest dog got into it, and uh, she she ate herself into a coma. <laughs> like. I, well, th this was a few years ago when I was living in an apartment, but uh, I was just like chilling out, playing some games. I'm pretty yeah, it was like a Friday night or something, and then I, and then I like look behind me because she's usually like sleeping on my bed whenever she's done eating, and like she wasn't there, so I was like, where'd she go? So I I call her and she doesn't answer. And I was like, oh no, did she get out somehow? So That's I go into panic. the living room, yeah, and then so I go into the living room and she's just like sitting there. Or she, she's just lying on the floor, passed out. <laughs> and then and I noticed she's kind of bloated, and I got a little worried, because, like, oh, no, she, she got to something. And then I see the closet door open with, like, the, like, the bag of food just, you know, lying down. Oh, yeah, they're, they're wrestling right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you can hear them, they're wrestling. I wasn't sure what that it, noise was. Yeah, no, they're, they're wrestling. They're fine, though. I lost a They're pair of glasses broken. a couple months back. On the flip side, it had been a few years since I had an exam done. It turns out I needed a slightly updated prescription anyways. Oh, that works out. Yeah, that, that happens to me. Only a $25 been... copay for the exam and insurance covered 33%. Nice. Uh, I think my last exam was maybe three years ago dude <laughs> so i'm 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 overdue for one yeah 2019 2019 was the last time that i got a eye exam oh wow yeah i need to i need to go back and get a new uh new prescription for my contacts because uh i am i have run out now let's see oh i'm 
probably gonna have to teleport home here in a little bit. My inventory is full of goodness. Nice. Yeah, I've been tunneling down this way and I have not found anything. It's kind of weird. Like, usually you expect to find something. But I also don't have any ropes, so I can't just tunnel down and then, you know, zip line my way back up. But you have the grapple hook, right? Do I have the grapple hook? What's the grapple hook button again? E? E? Let me see. We made it out of uh, gems and stuff. Huh. It's not working for me, unless I don't have it hotkeyed. Or maybe I put it up. No, I don't have the grapple hook. That is weird. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I remember making the grapple hook now, but... I have no idea where it is now. Huh. That is weird. I don't have to look for it. Maybe I put it up in a chest or something. Well, we can make but, you oh, yeah, one. no, dude, the, the dog, she, uh, she just, like, bloated and passed out, and, uh, she, she pooped so much throughout the night because <laughs> yeah. of how much she ate. It was awful. But she was, she was back to normal the, the next day. Yeah. So I was like, okay, this, this is fine, I guess. But, uh, I, I, ever since that day, I made sure to just always make sure whatever i had the food in just like make sure it's completely blocked off hey i have another cloud in a bottle so i can give you a double jump item uh wait is that something that i that i just gotta keep on me or is it like an equip item it's an accessory that you equip oh it's an accessory okay yeah i'll take that that means i can tunnel down a little bit faster yeah and if you um if you fall and you hit the the double jump right at the last second you can mm -hmm. save yourself from the fall damage Ah, nice. There you go. Nice. And this just goes in... Yeah, so if you plus accessory. escape to open your inventory, yeah, the yeah, bottom right... Yeah, little you got little circle accessory. Yeah, Yeah, the five accessories under your armor. Oh, and it adds plus two defense. Nice. Yeah. So that brings my defense up to 19. Oh, wait, how much health step. do you have? Uh, I got 140. Yeah, 140 health. Okay, come here. Oh, but you got more health? I found two life crystals. And I was going to eat them Ooh. both, but I'll share. Nice. Nice. Oh, wait. Hang on. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Forgot which button was throw for a second there, and I didn't want to eat both of them. <laughs> so I should have 180 and you have 160, right? Yeah. What was the... What was the health level? Oh, no. I think it's 200 is when, the, uh, is when that one boss comes in. Or that one world event. I think it's 200 i don't remember maybe uh i do have a suspicious looking eye so we could summon eye of cthulhu whenever you want hmm no nah, i don't really have any weapons for it sorry right, we'll keep we'll keep saving up and we'll buy this uh mega shark yeah hey what's up bat am i playing budget minecraft i don't know if this counts as budget minecraft why are you so mean nah, to Terraria. This is better than Minecraft. It's still getting updates even after its final update. Yeah, I was surprised when I went to boot it up tonight that there was even another uh, patch. <laughs> uh, PC Gamer, I think it was PC Gamer, they put out an article about Terraria and they were like, they're like, don't worry guys, if you miss the final update, there's still a final update that you can still get in on. But if you miss that update, there's still the final, final update that came out after that final update. <laughs> and they have a new final update coming out just in case. It was just like, geez, like how many updates are they going to like put in this game? But no, that's, that's why I like this game. It just it keeps getting updates and it, it just feels good every time. The modding scene is apparently really good for this, too. I haven't looked at any mods for this game. I remember way back when, during the cursed uh, period of time when My Little Pony was a thing, <laughs> there was a bunch of My Little Pony mods for this game. Uh, apparently there's a mod called Calamity, I think it's called, mm -hmm. and it yeah. adds a, um, it's like a whole extra end game, even beyond like the Moon Lord final boss Holy kind of crap. stuff. Yeah. That's insane. And a whole bunch of weapons and a whole bunch of new armors and materials and stuff, so... That yeah. sounds pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I never really looked into modding, though. I did that one time, and I found nothing but My Little Pony mods. I was like, oh, no. 
And then since then, I just never looked into it again. It's probably for the best. Yeah. Let's see. Lynn says, yeah. Calamity adds Crabulon, which has a banger track. <laughs> I mean, it's it sounds like a banger. Oh, found some copper. Finally, something decent. I've been digging for like the last like 15 minutes. Have you been digging down or sideways? No, I've, I've been digging sideways and downwards. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like I said, I, I didn't have the grappling hook or the rope, so I couldn't just dig down. Also, if I was just going to dig downwards, I would have hit tunnels that we were already digging into. True. So I was like, eh, you know, let me just uh, try something different. Mine straight down? Yeah, that's no, usually how think... you're supposed to do it. I mean, that, that's how you speed run to one of the bosses, isn't it? You just go straight down. You go straight down to the hell level. <gasps> yeah. Woof. Rocky's activated. Yep. Release the inner pro. I'm not a pro. <laughs> I am far from a pro at this game. My my sole strategy is to keep digging until I get lucky and find something. <laughs> so you've been enjoying Elden Ring? Heck I yeah, dude. It. Yeah, it's really good. I've been and I, I I think I'm pretty much done. It's gonna be a while before I go through a second playthrough on that game, dude. Did you beat it already? Yeah, I beat it. I beat it uh last week, I think. Yeah, yeah, I beat I beat it last week uh, when I was on break. How many hours did uh, you sink into it? A hundred hours just to beat it. Wow. <laughs> like a hundred hours even. But yeah, it was. And you probably didn't just wild. like rush to the end. So that includes like side oh, questing no, and stuff. Oh no, I I rushed the ending, dude, because I was starting to get really frustrated with it. Really? Like, dude, the end game is a literal gauntlet, and I was getting so frustrated with it. Like it's it's not a bad ending, and the gauntlet isn't that bad. But I was just like, oh god, please just just give me the ending already. So I just I just started rushing through it. And uh I mean like it was it was still fun. I still had fun with it. Okay. Uh, yeah. But no, it was I was legit just starting to get like kind of frustrated with it cuz it I was like, okay, this I know this isn't the end, but it feels like the end or it feels like I'm getting close to the end and then it would just tack on another like 20 hours. But uh, yeah, I was I was also doing something to get the final to get like the true ending of the game or at least the secret ending. Oh, OK. And uh, I screwed up and didn't do something. So I ended up like not getting it. So it was like literally all that time just wasted. <laughs> no. and I was just so mad. I was like, God dang it. I was like, I can't believe I messed up that bad. <laughs> so. Why, that, why was... 11 to 12 to mine diamonds? I'm just getting Minecraft <laughs> advice in chat. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's just like, I, I, that, that's that's why I'm basically done with Elden Ring, because I screwed up so bad and didn't get the ending that I wanted. Well, that sucks that happened. Yeah. I don't even happens. know what the possible endings are. Uh, don't spoil. They're... Yeah, no, no. They're, but they're I know there's multiple. From what I saw. Yeah, I, there, there's only three that I know of. Yeah, I, I only know three endings. Uh, but I mean, there there could be a bunch of other. Well, the patch that they just added added more quests, so I yeah, I could see them quest, even if they weren't working. I could see them even just adding more endings, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I saw that. I was uh, I was giving one of my buddies, uh, I was giving him shit for it, because I was like, if you didn't beat Elden Ring pre-patch, you didn't actually beat the game. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, cause he he started playing it, and he was on Radon, and as we all know now, Radon was heavily nerfed. At, at least his HP was heavily nerfed, from what I could tell. And someone said they looked into it, and Radon originally had like 20k HP, and uh -huh. it was reduced down to 10k. Wow, they cut it in half. 
Yeah. So like the the amount of damage this dude was doing at like level 50 was insane. Or at least the the chunks of health that he was taking off of him was insane. Cuz I was like, yo, I was like I was I was like I'm pretty sure I was doing that same amount of damage, but like his HP was like barely moving. Huh. But it was it was weird. Uh I don't know. Uh I <laughs> Wait, Elden Ring came out on PS4, right? I thought it did. I think it, I think it did. I, I kind of want to go pick up the PS4 version just so I can have like a way to play the unpatched version. Because it's it's the it's the only way now. I, I suffered through all that shit. And <laughs> now they're just like, here's the here's the super easy version. Now I was like, no, I'm I want the hard version again. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't mind them making things easier nah. but i don't mind them like severely nerfing yeah. stuff but at the same it's... time too they fixed a lot of exploits which has yeah. the speed running community up in a tizzy because it was like they literally removed the tree that we used to do to jump yeah. over here and skip Kalid, and then um <laughs> there's another one i saw that was oh well i like uh there was a a weapon that was buggy right. that uh, for PvP, so it would, like, have you apply status effects in an aura around you. Holy crap. So then you would use one of the... There's one showtel that you get that has a death aura, death blight or something. Right. And I then, think I know that one. It's one of the legendary weapons. Okay, no, I don't know that one then. Um, But then, like, you, you'd, you'd cast this uh, buff spell... And it yeah. was bugged, so then you would apply Death Blight in an aura around yourself, and then you just run towards people and they would die. <laughs> Holy crap, that's amazing. Yeah, it was... That's why when I, when I was streaming, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do PvP, because I just don't want to run into people using the exploited weapon and stuff. So they, they fixed that. Yeah. So I might try PvP now. Because uh, now I don't have to deal with someone who just walks towards me and I die. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're, you're still going to deal with that, dude. I, I did PvP, and, like, I didn't encounter any of that. But I was only doing the PvP because you need to do it for that one dude's quest line. Right, I heard you need to do it for Vare's quest. Yeah, you, you need to do it for him. Uh, you, you, it doesn't matter if you win or lose, you just got to do it. You just got to use the item three times. And then uh, he'll he'll give you access to uh, another thing or something like that. Or, you know, his, his quest line continues. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, it's it's not a bad quest line. It's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> good so, luck with the boss, because I used an exploit to, to beat that boss in that quest line. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It was it was literally an easy 6 million uh, runes. Oh, wow. Or 600. No, not 6 million. 600,000 runes. Oh, okay. It's like 6 million? <laughs> it's like... Yeah, no, no. 600,000, dude. And I was just like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna do it. Why not? I I want to experience all the all the jankiness right now, and experience the jankiness I did, and it was fun. I actually gotta figure out if that is something they fixed. I'm sure they did because like the exploit for it was like, dude, it was legit broken. Like, like oh man, like the the fact that that was able to get through it surprises me. It looked like but, a lot of stuff got through that wasn't. Yeah. Like, arcane weapons just, like, had zero scaling. Yeah. Oh, did they? Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, no, nah, but, uh, like that, like that exploit, dude, it completely removed the, a the, the boss's AI. Oh, really? Like, yeah, like, he, like, it, if you did it right, he would not be able to attack or anything like he, he was he was literally just standing there and you could just wail on him for like five minutes but yeah no, that it was, sounds like it fun. was still fun yeah no it was, it was fun it was just like finally a stupid boss that like i can just wail on for no reason but nah like i said the the, the jankiness was a lot of fun uh, i don't mind it i don't play Souls games to prove anything. I just I, I like the games. That's all. Like I've I've always liked Dark Souls, and I've always liked Demon Souls. Uh, I never cared much for Dark Souls two or Dark Souls three or all the other ones, but 
playing Elden Ring really did remind me of just like, you know, Dark Souls and Demon Souls for some reason. Like the, those first few hours, just like, oh man, like it's, it's that weird, like wonder, like wonder and exploration. Yeah, that exploring I got. a whole new world and figuring out all yeah. the new mechanics and how yeah, am I going to live? I never, it's really weird because I never got that same experience with Dark Souls 2 or 3. And I want to say, like maybe thinking about it now, maybe it's just because they were in the same world or something like that. So it's just like, oh, I'm, I'm back in Dark Souls you know, two or Dark Souls three when you know Dark Souls and Demon Souls were like completely different. But uh according to another VTuber who's gonna do an entire Dark Souls timeline, uh Demon Souls is actually connected to Dark Souls. Is it? I don't yeah, I don't know how, but he says in the timeline Dark or Demon Souls comes after Dark Souls two in the timeline huh. but uh he, he's gonna do an entire stream about it so i'm i'm actually curious to see it a lore stream or just streaming the like game? A, a, an entire lore a lore stream because th this dude is like super knowledgeable of like souls games it's it's crazy like how how deep his knowledge is is this guy named vadi vaja nah it's uh, all bones jones literally the dark souls of vtubers <laughs> uh oh Lin, Lin's calling you out about what I played hard version of the game I'll see Gondola I beat this game yeah. hell yeah <laughs> hell yeah bragging I, I about playing a hard music. version that you exploited <laughs> hell yeah hey man I went out there I I hunted that food and I foraged that that whatever okay I beat I beat the original Dark Souls or not Dark Souls Elden Ring. I don't care if I did cheese it, I still beat it. And you know what? I have the Chivo to prove it. Do you have the Chivo to prove it? No. Probably. I don't know. <laughs> the yeah. Chivos beat the game, so you know. Who who am I to argue with the achievement system? True. If, uh, if Gabe said I beat that game or Miyazaki said I beat that game by giving me the achievement, then you know what? Yeah, I beat that game. <laughs> did, uh, did you see Iron Pineapple tweet out that there's some secret walls that take multiple hits to reveal? Yeah, yeah, I did see that. I was so mad because now I'm just like done with the game. I was just like, no, I'm, I'm done now. I'm legit done with this game. But I don't want to. I don't want to suffer through this. What What could you have missed, though? <laughs> I don't know, dude. There, I I was watching someone else play, and like he's been in an area that I had no idea even existed. So I'm just like, there, I know there's like entire underground segments that I have just not seen or found. Oh, you didn't go underground at all, or? No, I, I've been underground. I found like quite a few underground areas, but I know that there's areas that I haven't been to because of what I've seen from this other guy playing. And I was just like, dude, I've never even been to this area. This dude found a freaking secret passageway to Volcano Manor that I had no idea existed. And I thought I had explored Volcano Manor like thoroughly because I was uh, I was doing co-op to help people get through that area. And like this dude just finds uh, find something that I just never found before. I was like, what the hell? Just think your dream build missed because you didn't hit that wall 500 times. Yep. Nah, my my dream build's probably just like completely crushed now. Actually, I don't even know what they did for uh for faith builds or paladin builds because that's that's what I was rolling with. But I I wasn't really using miracles. I only used miracles as a uh, as a uh, you know supplemental thing for my for my character. Well, yeah, there's a couple of good incantations that make faith just worthwhile like yeah. poison cure or uh, actually poison cure is like one of the few ones I can think of or scarlet rock cure or something like that I, I never used them I always had enough uh, enough items on me or my you know my stuff was good enough that I could just you know power through it let's see found like an entirely different area down here dude yeah, I found a tunnel that we hadn't explored yet, so... Nice. Yeah, but between the... a little bit of copper and iron, but that's about it. 
Between the double jump and the uh, grappling hook, I'm pretty safe to just keep nice zipping around, and I can. I have the recall potion, so if I get too far out, I can just teleport nice. home. Yeah, uh, I have not found a. I mean, I found a lot of jars, but none of them have have had any money in them. A lot of potions, and I just found some tungsten. Sorry, Jay, yeah, we haven't found jars. the stronghold yet. <laughs> what's what stronghold? He's talking about Minecraft. Uh, oh, <laughs> I found a rock trap. Did it crush you? Or the boulder? No, no, I'm I'm like on top of the rock. <laughs> That's supposed to like crush you. So I'm just gonna. There you go. I already I already deactivated it. That was like the first boulder trap that I found in this game, oh. or like in this world, isn't it? Or did you find one? I've I've found several. Oh, you found several? This is the first one that I found, dude. The hell? I'm just glad uh, none of them fell on me. Because <laughs> I think the last time we uh, set this up, chat was like, all right, ETA till is Bill it? dies to a boulder trap. I was like, no, no, yeah. no. <laughs> so I'm, I'm determined to prove chat wrong that I won't die to a boulder trap. I've got nothing to prove. Super casual. <laughs> well, my chat threw down the challenge, so now I feel rip. This is why you, this is why you don't acknowledge chat's existence. Then you can't get <laughs> bullied into uh, into doing challenges like this, because now that pressure is just going to be on you. <laughs> well, avoiding getting blown up seems like a good plan, anyways. So, very true. I'll stick to it. If you drink a, if you find a bunch of random jars, someone threw away, and you drink it, is that a potion? <laughs> I'd count it as a potion. But I mean, you're you're the expert. You know, uh, there's a game, and it's an old school game. And it's called mm -hmm. NetHack, which is what all uh, roguelikes are built based off of, because it was right. the original rogue. Right. And uh, yeah, I'd say. Part of the strategy is to drink uh, random potions, so that way you know what they do. <laughs> because the game doesn't identify items when you pick them up. So, right. like, if you find a potion, it's like a, a fizzy potion or a cloudy potion. <laughs> you don't know which one's a healing potion or a poison potion. Right. So you have to either use uh, identifying scrolls, which are expensive, or... Chug <laughs> and hope you have it. You have a <laughs> scroll or a prayer or something that you can do so that way you don't die. I I want to say Noida does that, dude. Noida. Yeah, I, I couldn't get into Noida either, but uh, I I think there's I think it does that. Or like you gotta either gotta have no no it's not Noida it's uh it's Vagante Vagante does that. I've not or, played Vagante. Uh, Vagante is a great game, dude. It's so much fun. Um, Vagante has a system like that where, like, if you just equip like random items, yeah, you don't know if they're cursed. So if you just throw on like something that you haven't like investigated or used an identifying scroll on, yeah, it'll it, it'll just hit you with the curse. But uh, you know, if you if you use uh, an identifying scroll, you, you'll be able to like quickly figure out if it is cursed or not. Oh yeah, there's and, uh, there's cursed items in uh, in NetHack too, and they were uh, very debilitating. Like one of the oh. most dangerous items in the game to try to identify by wearing it are amulets. Yeah, because one of the most da there's two really dangerous amulets. One of which is an amulet of choking, in which yeah. case the amulet just constricts around your neck and suffocates you. <laughs> And the other one is an amulet of sleep, which will put your character yeah. to sleep, and they usually starve to death in their sleep. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and if you don't starve to death, then a monster just wanders up and is like, oh, I'll, I'll eat this sleeping adventurer. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. That actually sounds pretty cool. Yeah, it's the... Yeah, uh, it has no I, graphics. I, oh, shit. 
Excuse yeah. me. There's oh, it's a, a it's a text based thing, or is it a? Uh... No, it uses ASCII characters to represent ah, ASCII, you okay. and the yeah. monsters and stuff. So you're yeah, you're the okay. at symbol, and then like a lowercase g could be a goblin, but an uppercase g could be a green dragon. So you have to. Yeah, you gotta it, you gotta it, memorize your stuff. Correct. That's pretty cool. I mean, I I always like that that type of creativity with uh you know with games like that, but I I can never get into them myself. I just, I don't have that, you know, imagination. Like, uh, it's why I never really got into Dwarf Fortress. I've never played Dwarf Fortress. Uh, it's pretty good from what I hear, but like I said, I, I just can't get into it. That's what I hear too, but I just play RimWorld instead. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. okay, I think that's the same experience, right? <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Like I said, I, I never played, I haven't played either of them. You might like RimWorld. I might. Uh, I, I've, I've been considering getting back into Kenshi. Uh, Ken have you played Kenshi's that one? a game. Uh, I watched Jill play it. I've not played Kenshi. Oh, you watched it. Ah, uh, it's it's good. I think you'd like that. There's a, there's there's a play style in there called a uh, boy and his dog, where it's just like you and a dog that start out in a in probably one of the harshest areas to start out in. Uh -huh. Uh, but it's it's a really good, it's a really good a uh, good way to start. When I did that one, uh. It was it was me and the dog and like we were surviving and like just barely surviving by beating up thugs and like stealing their food. And then uh, we got uh, I ended up getting captured by slavers and they beat my dog up and left it out there to die. No, so I was like, oh, no, that sounds horrible. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and like I, I was like, all right, I got I got my uh, I got my origin story and my motivation. These uh, these slavers killed my dog and they. They made me a slave, so uh, I'm gonna go kill them all now. Or I'm gonna kill them all now. But uh, as soon as I was about to like, you know, start getting into it again, uh -huh. uh, my game crashed, and with it, my save file also crashed. No. So I, I lost everything on that playthrough, and, See, and those, my save file corrupted. Those kinds of things make me, yeah, just like quit a game. I'm like, well, I'm never playing this until the scratch comes, you know, probably <laughs> two years from now. Oh no, Kenshi is like done. There, there's no more. There's no more left to it, or there's no more left to patch or anything like that. So it's just like you're you're perpetually stuck with jank. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what Jill's start was, but she made it sound like she started in this town. She yeah. couldn't afford to leave, <laughs> and her sneaking wasn't high enough to get out, so she got caught and thrown into jail. Oh no. But her sneaking was... Oh my god, I got hit by a boulder trap. <laughs> oh, I just saw it. Uh, but you didn't die. No, it did 100 damage. Yeah. But, uh... So then... I lost my train of thought because I got hit by the boulder. Yeah. Oh, and then she, uh... So then she was, like, slowly, like, leveling up her sneaking by breaking out of the prison. Yeah. But then she breaks out of the prison, so now she's a, a refugee... Not a refugee, uh... A fugitive? A fugitive, yeah. <laughs> it's just like, okay, I don't know what's going on here, but... No, it's a, it's, it's a very make-your-own-adventure type game, dude. It's it's a lot of fun. It's just you gotta have a bunch of multiple backup saves. Yeah. It sounds but... like something that, like, Fallout should have been. Oh, like... yeah, not... Uh, oh, Lin, Lin said that uh, a boy and a dog is a reference. Yeah, I, I know that reference. I've seen that movie. Uh, a boy and a dog is a is a pretty good movie. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, chances are, I probably haven't. Uh, um, it's it's fairly decent. I like it. It's, uh, it's one of my other mods like, will point out that I am incredibly uncultured because I haven't seen a vast majority of like classic films. Uh, Oh, no. Like Young Frankenstein, so they want to, they want to do a Discord movie night of Young Frankenstein to make sure I've seen Young Frankenstein. <laughs> uh, it sounds like something you need to do. True. I Rim am, World uh... is vodka, Dwarf Fortress is pure ethanol. <laughs> wow, that's a way to put it. Also, what is up, dude? And that is someone's name in my chat is dude. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was like, dude. Yeah, I am like on the edge of the uh, 
of the desert biome now. Fallout took inspiration from a boy and his dog. That's why Dog Me was a friend. Oh, I didn't know that. Hmm. Hang on, this will solve a lot of our money problems if I don't let it get away. <laughs> What's that? It's a special slime called Pinky. Dude. And oh, pink. wait, I remember now. I have rope. Let's see, where's my rope at? Yep, there we go. One gold and seventy silver. All right, now my inventory is full. I, I was go. gonna say you seen you seen at least you've at least seen Boondock Saints, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I remember we we talked about this like like months back. I should have watched Boondock Saints since yesterday was Saint Patrick's Day. Oh yeah, it was. Should have done a, uh, a special a special here. viewing. Yeah. There's lava down here, dude. You're getting there, then. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I don't really... I mean, I could jump, but I'm not going to risk it and lose all my stuff. I found an extractinator. What's that? It's a machine that if you put silt, slush, and fossil, it'll turn them into more useful items. So, like... Dude. Different ores and money and stuff. Nice. Hey, what's up, Merlin? It's been a while since I've seen you, man. How are you doing? Let's see. Not sure how far I'm into the second game of Dot Hack GU. Ah, uh, that's a that's a great series. I played the first one. Uh, I have the HD collection on PS4, and uh, I didn't mean to get back to it. The game wants me to do all this level 60 stuff, but I'm level 80. Oh. I wish I finished the first dot, dot .hat games. Uh, there's another VTuber that I've been watching that's uh, that's been playing that's that series. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Picky. Uh, she's pretty cool. She, uh... Jeez, come on. Oh, wait, that's not it. I was about to say, come on, Rope. Um, yeah, she, she's been playing, I think she finished, like, all four of the originals now, and I think she's moving on to GU. But, uh, it, it made me want to, want to get back into playing GU again. Yeah. But, uh, I thought that my PS4 was, like, done for, so I ended up just buying the series, or I just ended up rebuying it on, uh, on PC, Oh. And then come to realize that my PS4 actually wasn't broken. It was just the the video settings were messed up. So they weren't displaying properly on like my monitor. But now that I got it fixed, you know, it's just like, well shit. I already <laughs> I bought it. Version. Yeah, I, I rebought it again. So I'm uh Rip I'm your kinda, money. Yeah. I mean I got it on a Steam sale, so I only paid like seven dollars for it, but still I I bought I bought the PS4 collection when it came out like when it when it first came out so it was like forty bucks or fifty bucks. Uh, Rune Factory Five. I played Rune Factory Four. It's not bad. I never played Rune Factory. Uh, they're pretty good. No wait, Rune Factory. Am I thinking of that? No, I'm I'm thinking of a different game. Heart. No. What game am I thinking of? I don't know, man. <laughs> Let me see. I think I'm thinking of a completely different game right now. Let me see. Rune Factory 4. Oh, no, no, no. I, I am thinking of the right games. Yeah, I played Rune Factory 4. Uh, it's it's a farming game. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a, it's pretty good. Um, getting the final ending in that game, though, is a pain in the ass, and it's all based on RNG, so I never got it. Stupid yellow slime. Watched Arcane last week? How was it, Merlin? I don't think I've seen it yet. That's that League of Legends show, right? Yeah. Mm. I don't associate with League of Legends. There's nothing wrong with League. <laughs> except the players. The, ga <laughs> the game's fine. 
Best video game show or movie? Oh, did you see the news about the Halo show? Yeah, it's it's stupid, dude. Oh my! I, I already had no faith in it at all. I have like, even less game. faith. I I feel like um the Malcolm in the Middle meme where it's like, <laughs> oh, what does Huey say at the birthday party? I I had no. Oh, I, 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 expected I expected nothing, nothing and I'm it. still let down. <laughs> yeah, I'm still disappointed. Yeah. No, I, I, I knew better than to go into that. Like, especially when they were just like, well, this is going to be an alternate canon. And I was like, all right, yeah, I'm done. Uh, <laughs> thanks for uh, thanks for wasting my time. No, nah, didn't, they didn't even waste my time because I wasn't even hyped for it to begin with. But, yeah. Well, I I was hyped when at first it was like, yeah, Halo TV show. And I go, oh, okay, okay, cool. I can see that. And then it's like, and it's not Master Chief, and I go, oh, okay, I'm just turned yeah. off immediately. How can you have a Halo show without Master Chief? All they had to do was just adapt Ghost of Onyx, which is probably one of the best Halo books ever, dude. I forgot there were books. Yep, now there, there's books, and Ghost of Onyx is, uh, is legit the coolest one. There's even a reference to Ghost of Onyx in uh, Halo 3. Where, uh, have you played Halo 3? Yes. Uh, do you remember the scene where the Sentinels were all, like, coming out of the Ark, and they were about to open fire on them, and 343 is just like, no, they're going to the shield installation. No. Probably not. It's, it's, it's a very, like, just nothing scene. Like, it's, like, that, that scene literally means nothing unless, like, you've read Ghost of Onyx, but, uh, the Sentinels were heading off to the shield installation, which is supposed to protect, uh, which is like the only protection, uh, you know, the Forerunners built against Halo. Okay. So as long as, so as long as you're on Onyx, you won't be affected by the by the by the rings, or uh, you, you won't be killed by the rings, which is uh, pretty cool. But uh, there there was a whole group of Spartan threes on Onyx. Uh, Onyx was actually a secret training facility for Spartan 3s. So, uh, it was, it was pretty cool. Uh, it's, it's a really good book. Uh, they go into the, a lot of detail on how, like, Spartan 3s were made and, uh, why they were, why they were pretty good. They weren't as good as Spartan 2s, but, like, considering that they had, like, half the training and they weren't, like, kidnapped as kids... Uh huh. I mean, they, they they were still kidnapped as kids, but the, the the amount of like training that they had to do was like nowhere near as compared to like Spartan two training. Uh, they didn't really go undergo go like as heavy genetic modifications, but they they got a few of them. Um, but they they were mainly just built or like made to uh to just like you know. Uh, suicide missions. They, they were mainly made for suicide missions, and that's it. So, you get, like, one mission out of them, and then if they complete that mission, it's just like, hey, uh, stay on site and continue continue on doing this shit. So they would just, like, stay wherever they were, and just keep doing missions until they finally died. So it was, uh, it was, just, it was pretty grim and dark for, for Spartan 3, since your life was literally that expendable. Right. But uh, it was it was still pretty cool. Uh, I I like I like Spartan threes. They're probably my favorite. I don't I don't even have a, know enough of Halo to have a favorite like that. <laughs> yo 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 you you'd get into it if uh, if you read the books. The books are really good. Len, did you read the books? Hey, what's up, Eclipse? Welcome to the stream. Uh, wait, that's a terrible thing to have in canon. Oh, be here and you won't be nuked from the rings. Okay, but what if the Flood get there? That's literally the whole reason the rings exist. No, the the Flood can't... Well, I don't know. I don't know if the Flood can get there. But, I mean, I, I guess... They, they would have to have knowledge of something that... Because the, the, the way that the Flood works is they work on a hive mind. So if they, you know, if they kill someone or, you know, absorb something into their collective consciousness that has knowledge of the shield installation. Yeah. Which at that time, no one knew what a shield installation was. No one knew that a shield installation even existed. So it's it's very unlikely that the Flood would have actually had knowledge of a shield installation. But uh, it's there, there's more details about it. 
I don't remember it being flood proof, but in order to get into it, you need to undergo like some type of uh, what is it like? Uh, what, what do they call it when like suspended animation? You need to undergo like some type of suspended animation. But uh, that's that's literally how the book ends. Is like every character gets onto the shield installation and just goes into suspended animation, and you never hear from them again. Oh. Although I did hear that one of the books does go back for him. There's like a somewhat of a sequel to that book, but uh, I, I haven't read it yet, and I forgot what it was called. Uh, do you play Yu-Gi-Oh? Because they're talking about uh, Duel Masters in chat. I, I kind of stopped playing Duel Masters, dude. I got really frustrated with that game. Wait, oh, you were man, the one I who guess. kicked my butt with that deck that had the aroma jars that I couldn't beat. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you, dude. I'm glad I didn't gotta, put any money into it. You know, I got to put money into it. I don't even think you can put money. No, no, no you, you can't put money in it. I never did, though. Uh, every, every card that I got, I got mainly just off of... Uh, uh, opening packs with uh, gems that they give you just for completing dailies and just saving by doing single player stuff. But yeah, no, uh, Aroma Mages are like my favorite. I'm up to uh, 18 gold saved now. Nice. Uh, I'm still at 22. I oh, think that's we can enough, buy it now. It? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's go get it. Haven't invested a dime? Nice. As soon as. Oh, wait, I think I have a wormhole. Potion. Wormhole will teleport you to me. Recall will teleport you back to spawn. Okay. And I'm in uh, spawn, okay. so either way it'll work. Okay. Yeah, I got a, I got a recall. There we go. Uh, where are you? Oh, there. You want to, you want to buy it or you want me to buy it? Okay. Oh, you got a life crystal? Yeah, that's what I threw at you. Okay. Cool. Uh, what about the gold? Hang on. And then you talk to Z see. 40? Z Xavier. And Where is he at? Oh, third Xavier, floor. There he is. He's the guy with the cape. And you should probably buy the mini shark. 39 and 90. We got 40 now. Sweet. How much, uh, what ammo does it take? Uh, you can start with musket balls. Okay. Well, I actually don't have any musket balls. Right. You can buy them eight. from him. They're eight copper yeah. a piece. Uh, I got 73. Oh, I got 68 silver. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let me just uh, dump some of the stuff off first. Sure, yeah. Empty out my inventory first. I've just been capturing butterflies and uh, lightning bugs and <laughs> squirrels and owls. And I was like, oh, this is getting me some serious cash. <laughs> There you go. More tungsten, more copper, more silver. Or not silver, uh, iron. Uh, emeralds. Hey, what's up, Raziel? Thought about yeah. stopping in yesterday and repeating I'm waiting for the stream, but I figured you'd ignore me, mistaking me for being rude to your collab person at the time, so I didn't. Well, I appreciate you being considerate <laughs> to Libra. But I'm glad you're here tonight, Raziel. Hope you're having a good Friday. Let's see. I'm just trying to find more to dump stuff. There you go. Uh, don't need that. Don't need that. Sand blocks are literally the worst. <laughs> no, but we can make gla glass out of them and sell the glass. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I uh, don't need that. Don't need that. 100% recommend Arcane. It has one of the best villains I've ever seen. I think I'm going to wait to watch it with Jill. Hmm. Because I don't Boy, think... Is she, a, is she a League fan or something? Or is she just, like, interested in it? I think she's interested in it. Oh, uh, okay. She might like it because of the characters in involved. Or she might right. want to see it because someone else told her. She read it somewhere that it's... It's good. Okay. I don't know. Right, I got 400 musket balls. Okay. Okay, there we go. 
to start. Uh, so we could hunt the Eye of Cthulhu tonight if we wanted to. Yeah, we can. Uh, let me see. Does this... Okay. Oh, is, is it like a machine gun or something or what? Yeah, hold down the button, dude. Okay. I thought it was just like a, a weird special item or something like that. No, know. but there's a, there's an upgrade for it. Uh, okay. Uh, much, much later in the game. Jeez. So, so don't be like, oh, well, it's it's old. I don't need it anymore. <laughs> you back in the uh, in the chaos or what is this? Corruption. Corrupt? Yeah. What are you doing out here? Are you just going through? Yeah, I was just. It's a little bit safer for us to clean up now, so. Yeah. Let's see. Because we have HP, better armor. Yeah. Guns. <laughs> well, you have better armor. I don't yet. I think I'm still rocking iron armor. Oh. It's better than wood. But, uh, yeah. Actually, I never even bother with wood armor. I just go straight for copper since it's like the most abundant. Actually, what armor am I rock rocking? Yeah, I got I got iron. Uh, maybe I got enough now for tungsten. Tungsten. It's, tung it's tungsten. That's the, the next upgrade, right? Yeah, that's what I'm wearing. Okay. Let me see if there's any tungsten in here. I don't think there is. Nah, there isn't. Oh, there should be. I put a crap ton in there. I'm not hoarding it, am I? No. One of the chests should have some tungsten in it. Uh, maybe I already mixed it, because we got like 74 in this one. Or 74 ore in this one. Unless, like, you're talking about bars. I didn't make bars. I, I okay. dropped a bunch of ore. Okay. Uh, we do have 42 bars, though. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this tungsten into bars. Yeah, that should get you pretty close. Where is it at? There it is, tungsten. Do I have any dynamite? No. And we are at 60 tungsten bars. So, let's see. I think that's enough for you to make a suit of armor. Uh, 15, 40, yeah, that's, that's all of it. Well, you can upgrade yeah. if you want. Okay. And then... Especially if I... we're going to be fighting bosses, we'll probably want to be souped up. Yeah, that's true. Should I just sell my iron armor? Yeah, might as well. Okay. Oh, I found Hermes boots. Nice. I already have, I have some of those. They're pretty good. Like, one of my favorite items. They just, like, make getting around so much easier. Oh, for sure. Yeah, let's see. So how much can I get out of this? Uh, seven silver? Eight? Five? Sweet. Oh, another heart crystal. So I basically just made all my, or most of my money back from just buying those, uh, musket balls. Oh, good. And my defense now is 25. Uh, I'm at 17. You must be having uh, an accessory with some more defense on it. Uh, Yeah, I got the armored shackle, which gives me like... Oh, yeah, that'll do know, it. Uh, the one defense plus like the plus three on it. And uh, my Hermes boots also give me a plus four. Oh, my Hermes boots have damage. Oh, really? Oh, that's pretty yeah, 4 good. 4% damage. Oh, damn, that's actually really good. <laughs> I think that's one of the better uh, traits to get on it. If damage? I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I can see that. Also, what's uh, up, Cyber? I didn't mean to uh, neglect <laughs> talking to you. Oh, yeah, Cyber. I ain't seen that dude in a while. No, so, uh, what's it called? Uh, Hermes boots I found work really well with the uh, with the spear. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, it's just like you hold it out and then you just like start rushing enemies and oh man, you're unstoppable. This slime had a wormhole potion in it. Sweet. Lin, Lin is dumping on Imagine Dragons. Why? I don't know. What's wrong with Imagine Dragons? I know. I like Imagine Dragons, I like Imagine Dragons too. <laughs> And she's like, wait, people listen to uh, Imagine Dragons unironically? I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> of course I do. I love that. I love that band. Well, maybe love is a strong term, but I do like them. I like their music. Yeah. I'd see them in concert. Yeah, I'd probably go to. It's been so long since I've been to a concert. <laughs> I was going to go to the uh, the Rob Zombie and Marilyn Manson concert that they had like in Colorado a few years ago. But uh, I ended up not going because I was like, hmm, should I go to this concert while I'm in the military and maybe get fucked up somehow? <laughs> because there's a lot of questionable people out there. Right. Or that are probably going to be at that concert, or at least that's what I associate with that music. So that would have been like, a fun I, concert, though. Yeah, it... it, mo it really would have been a fun concert but i was like you know what i'm i'm not gonna take that chance i don't wanna i wanna end up like <laughs> somehow getting fucked up on something oh man a bunch of slimes just followed me into this tunnel there we go tool was here recently doing concerts and i wish i went but they sold out Jeez. so fast oh yeah it's tool dude I was never actually a big fan of Tool. Uh, my dad and brother were, though. I, uh... I didn't get into them until much later in my life. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, no, I just can't get into them. Uh, I don't really know why. I guess, I guess it's just not my type of music. Which is kind of weird, though, because I, I do like Rob Zombie and, you know, Marilyn Manson and other music like that, but I just couldn't get into them. Uh, System of Down and stuff like that. You couldn't get into System of a Down? No, no, I, I, I like System oh, of a Down. Oh, okay. But it's, it's weird that I didn't like Tool, though. I was gonna be like, I don't know if we can be friends if you can't listen to System of a Down. <laughs> nah, dude, I love Chop Suey. It's like, favorite nonsense song. <laughs> I think System of Down was what got me through. I was listening to that just all through high school, just on repeat. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think that was like middle school for me. Yeah, yeah, that was like somewhere around. Yeah, yeah, that was somewhere around middle school for me. Because uh, I remember listening to like the entire like Toxicity soundtrack when I was just like when we were going to San Antonio or something. Can I do you a favor, Merlin? Depends on the favor. I didn't, uh, I didn't discover System of Down until BYOB came out, though. But when that song came out, then I listened to all their stuff. <laughs> Let's see. Man, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just, I'm just letting direction take me. Just letting the cave layout? Yeah, wherever the wind takes me. I've been listening to System of Down since they started. Jeez. I can feel an evil presence watching Oh, you. did you break one of those orbs? No. Oh, then uh, we're getting a boss fight tonight. Okay. Uh, should I just wormhole back and then... I did. Actually, no. I, I, I don't have the potion on me. Alright. Uh, oh, shit. It's already night. <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> I looked at your stream and I was like, wait. Maybe, maybe I got time. Nope. We're we're getting invaded. <laughs> and by what? I think it's Some Eye of Cthulhu tonight. Oh man. 
I have a I have another life crystal for you. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna blow all my money on ammo so I don't run out in the middle of the fight. <laughs> I don't think it's the goblin army. No, 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 no. Okay. okay. I have sixteen hundred bullets. I should not run out. Nice. Uh let's see. You know what? I'm just Anything that, you know what, I'm going to keep the iron skin potion on me. That's a good idea. Yeah, well, I only have one of them. I threw you the heart crystal. Yeah, I just got it. Oh, I might have been the one that triggered the boss fight because I'm at, I'm over 200 health. Yeah, here we go. Okay, yeah, that is. Oh, jeez, I'm not ready. Okay, there we go, I'm ready. Come outside. I'm trying. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you got to get up. <laughs> it won't let me. Ah, oh, they're just bullying me down here. Okay, I got him out. Okay, yeah. Uh, these these little mini ones kept like pushing me around. Alright, I'm here. There we go. Alright, running under. Oh yeah, this part, this phase. Oh shit! No, oh, you're shit. good. You're good. Okay, we got it. <laughs> Woo! I was, I was not expecting the boss to be here this early. <laughs> no, I got over 200 health, so I triggered it. Yeah, that's that's right. I I, I forgot about that. It's like if, no, I, I think it's if you get to 200, that's what triggers it. Yeah, I'm at 220. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Eh, that's whatever. so. Like I said, it's my fault. Yeah, no, nah, it's cool. We were well over prepared for that fight, anyways. Yeah. Did, uh, did we get anything out of it? Or? Uh, we got a bunch of demonite ore, which is what uh, we need to make a demonite pickaxe, I think. Uh, but we have okay. to kill the next boss in order to get the scales, I think, to make the armor. Uh, okay, okay. So otherwise, hey, yeah, we can I'll just... Be... Yeah. I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab something to drink real quick. Hey. <laughs> the doggies did not like him getting up. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I'll be right back, and I just... Rrr. Oh, gosh. He turned 34 last month. Oh, I'm glad to hear someone is older than me out there in my chat. I thought I was the oldest out of all you guys. Lynn turns 30 in three months. I turned 33 this year. That's old. I know I don't look 30, though, right? So we can make Light Bane, we can make the War Axe of the Night, the Demon Bow, the Fisher of Souls. What do we need for the Pickaxe? Or is the Pickaxe included and you need the scales for that too? It might be the Pickaxe too. Hey, InfoX says 36. We're all just boomers in my chat. <laughs> I shouldn't call you guys boomers because that that reflects poorly on me because I'm I'm the same age group. Thirty two next month. Oh Merlin, he's I, I I'm not gonna set him up for that. That's not fair. Boomer Alchemist. Oh, if I focused on explosives, I could be a Boomer Alchemist. Oops. Shut up, Kid William. <laughs> That sounds like a rapper name. I'll take Kid William. I wish there was a way to zoom in. I want to show you guys my the mask we picked up.
hey Merlin, do you know what book ought, um do you know what book Homer wrote? Did they tell you that in high school? I don't even know if they teach Homer anymore. What book what book did he write? The Odyssey? The Odyssey these nuts got him. All right, now I'm going to hope I can hit gondola with it. He's going to come back, rewind the stream, and then he's going to be aware. Aware of what? <clears throat> oh, man. Hey, you all right? Yeah, nah. It's just uh, clearing my throat. Oh, okay. There was a... Uh, I went downstairs to grab myself a snack and saw that there... Or not a snack, I had to grab some water. Uh -huh. And then uh, I saw that there was still some uh, sausage and egg from uh, from this morning. Or not this morning, from like this lunch. So I was like, oh, man, it still smells good. So I had to get myself a taco. Oh, that sounds good. Yep. Uh, I I didn't have like proper breakfast sausage or anything like that, so I ended up just using a mesquite sausage, like barbecue <laughs> sausage, and mixed it with some eggs, and it actually came out really good. I was like, oh man, this this is actually be good. Hey, so, so uh, like we're trying to like yeah. Oh, uh, chat's quizzing me on this. Um, what what book did Homer write? Uh. The Greek dude? Yeah. Wasn't it the Odyssey? The Odyssey these nuts. <laughs> 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 Sorry. I was like, what? <laughs> I had to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I was like, oh, I hope Gondola didn't hear any of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't hear anything. I all, all I heard was like he's gonna get back and rewind the stream. I was like, why should did something happen? <laughs> I was trying to make sure you didn't hear the joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, what was it? Oh yeah, that's right. We uh, we just killed the the Eye of Cthulhu. What's the next one? Or what's the next fight after this one? Uh, the or worm. Is it just whatever. Oh, the worm. Yeah, the Eater of Souls or something. I'm gonna try to set up for that one next. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Without what do we killing need for it? Uh, we have to break these the orbs that contain the items in them oh yeah 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 that's and right and i've broken at least one i don't know if you've broken any mm -mm. okay well I'm that's gonna... right i don't have anything that can break those yet dynamite will break it that's the only thing that we'll have until the dryad joins us which she should since we just killed a boss right okay oh, i need to use one more Ugh. Screams echo around you. Oh no. Okay, we got Vile Thorn. So if we wanted to be a mage. Nice. We could summon Vile Thorns. Doesn't a hammer break them? Oh, you have to use dynamite to break the walls to get to it. We don't have any way to break down the dirt. Oh, that's just, uh, I was about to say, what the hell is that down underneath me? And it was like, oh, it's just, uh, it's just a rail track. <laughs> I asked a bunch of people what LGBT stood for, but I couldn't get a straight <laughs> answer. Oh, no. Like, I'm surprised, like, I, like, usually I get, like, super lucky and I just, like, find chests and, like, jars with, like, really cool stuff in them. But, like, I'm just, I'm not getting anything now, dude. Yeah, I think I'm stealing all the, I'm having the yeah, streamer you... luck with the Hermes yeah, boots. You... I found three double jump items. Uh, nice. All sorts of potions and gold. And... Found a statue. 
Statues literally don't do anything. They're just... A couple uh, of them do stuff. Like, the heart ones, if you apply power to them, they'll generate those Healy hearts that recover 20 health. Oh, uh, okay. So a common thing to do is to have those set up on, like, a timer, so that way they dispense health constantly for, like, boss fights and stuff. Oh, uh, okay, okay. And you can make ones I that did. also dispense uh, goldfish and um, rabbits. Hmm. Okay. I did find more copper and iron, though. Merlin wants to ask you a question. I don't know if you could read chat. Uh, I can. Uh, shoot, Gondola, do you know the streamer Cadence? So Cadence, <laughs> Cadence, uh, like the la the alien lady, or like are you doing trying to do a decent nuts jokes on me? Because there is a VTuber named Cadence that I do know. No, it's it's Candice. Candice. Okay. I don't Wait, know. actually, I forgot what the setup is. Yeah, I don't know. No, there's a joke there. Yeah. No, well, that, that's why I'm like legit confused because I do know a VTuber that actually has that name. So I don't I don't know if he's trying to set me up for a D's nuts joke or if he's like legit asking. It is a D's nuts joke, but I can't remember what the the uh the punchline is. Yeah. Can D's nuts fit in your mouth? That's what oh, it is. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. But yeah, no, I, I do legit know a VTuber named that. So it's uh, that's why I'm confused on it. If he's asking a legit question or not. <laughs> you mispronounced that at first too, so that also yeah, <laughs> ruined <no>. the setup. <laughs> That's just me. I like to ruin jokes. Like the anti-joke chicken. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> You ever see the movie Super Troopers? Yeah, I love that movie. It's uh, it's recommended watching for cops, dude. <laughs> I need to watch that again. Yeah. It's one of my I'm favorite a, movies. I haven't seen the second one. I remember watching the second one when we were on post, and then after that something happened, so I never got to finish watching it. I never saw the second one. Uh, it's, it's okay. Oh, jeez. The hell is that? Oh, it's like... Oh, it's a it's a giant shelly. There we go. I was Dude, just worried that it would be a. Work. Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Up! Oh, Up! Oh, I fell in lava. Ah! <laughs> uh, I lost all my fucking silver and my money in there. No! I lost the fucking gun! I lost the fucking gun in that lava pit, dude. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Are you in medium core? Yeah. Oh, no, we should have given it to me because I'm playing on casual like a noob. Jeez. Oh, God. Legit lost everything because I fell into a pit of lava. It's alright. Yeah. It's just money. Oh, man. It's just items. <laughs> we can just we can it's get just it back. Items. It's, it's literally all our tungsten <laughs> that we just used. It's alright. We'll find more tungsten. It's okay. There's a, there should be more iron and stuff. I knew I should have set that armor off to the side. I was like, that iron armor that I had, I was like, yeah, hey, you know what? I should just set it off to the yeah, side. Yeah, if you were case. on a medium core, I would have said, yeah, save every suit of armor. We don't throw anything <laughs> out in case you die and we can't recover it. Yeah. Let's see. And we should have given me the mini shark. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got in here? We got maybe 28. maybe we did make you a grapple hook and you lost it. I might have lost it. Uh 32. Here we go. Let's just gather all the ore that we have. So that way I can turn it into bars. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, there's nothing in there. There you go, more iron in here, more platinum in here. Ooh, I found a tree base. We do have that slime gun. 
I just subscribed to Gondola, even though I probably won't watch any videos. Hey, thanks for sharing the love, Merlin. <laughs> On uh, YouTube? Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know what I, I don't know which links of yours I have in the description, but. Yeah, uh, I'm. I mainly stream over on a. Uh, over on Twitch, but uh, I don't mind coming over to YouTube every now and then. And I do do like edited stuff on, you know, YouTube every so often. Uh, I do need to do more of it though. I do. I do need to make more edited content, but I've I've been super lazy about it lately. Uh, the the last video that I made was uh. uh what was it? Last week, it was a uh, Skeb Request Simulator, which is probably one of the most cursed videos I've ever had to do. Why is that? Uh, you should watch it, because okay. what I ended up doing was... Uh, I mean, you, you've been through Skeb, right? Yeah. yeah. So you've, I'm sure you've seen some of the Not Safe for Work stuff on there. No. Uh, what a shame. So uh, if you look at the Not Safe for Work stuff on there, uh -huh. you can see people's requests. And what I ended up doing was taking a bunch of those requests and running them through a text-to-speech uh, <laughs> thing. So it, it ended up reading, it, it ends up reading all the requests, and I set it to the music of Aunt Amelia Watson's background music. So it's just, it's awful. It's the worst thing that I've ever made. And it's it's so bad I can't even. I mean, there, there, there's some in there that are actually funny, but there's like some in there that I just can't say on stream. Like I'm surprised, like it's still on there. Like the YouTube hasn't taken it down. Okay, that uh, does sound cursed now that you've described it in this way. It's really bad. Like there, there, there's a bit in there where it's literally my just reaction to just the whole thing to like making the whole video, because uh, I what I should have done, and I I know this now if I ever want to make a second one is that rather than just like taking a picture of the uh, of the text or of uh -huh. the request, I should have copied and pasted it into a text file and also like got a got a picture of the request as well. <laughs> but so what I ended up having to do was type in each and every single request myself into the text to speech program. So at the end of it, I was just done, dude. I was I was tired of like typing out and then sampling the voice to make sure that it would read it correctly. Because for whatever reason, if you type in UPS, like UPS, it reads it as UPS, not UPS. Oh, interesting. So I, I'd have to go through and listen to each and every one of the requests, like be voiced. And I was just getting so, oh, dude, I was, I was, I was, I was getting so mad at it that people would request this stuff. Oh, man. You missed what uh, it was like, Lynn it was like said. hard. Oh, uh, what do you say? <laughs> Let's say now draw her getting that promotion she earned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's bad. Like honestly, like if anyone's curious about it, you can you can go to my YouTube channel right now and like listen to it. It's it's bad. <laughs> and then there there's so I I had to do that for like twenty requests where What's I just up, had Chapel? to like re type their stuff, and I was. Oh my god, I was, I was just so done with it, dude. <laughs> I was done with that project. And there's a clip in there that depicts like how done I am with that project. And then there, there the, and then there's the final, the final skeb request, which is probably the best one that I that I found. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I, I saved the best one for last. Uh, Keen copper pickaxe. You're not gonna spoil it though, are you? No, I'm not gonna spoil it. Let's see. Um, no, I don't think there's any copper armor either. I'm pretty sure I sold all that too. There should be plenty of copper. Yeah. Is there no, not? No, no, there, there is. Uh, we got. I'm pretty sure I got enough to make an iron suit again. How are you doing tonight, Chapel? Let me see. Yeah, we got 63 copper bars and 88 iron bars. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make that iron suit. Where is it at? There it is. So that. Oh, 
Oh, what else to do with my inventory, man? Uh, drop it off. <laughs> yeah, I had enough. No, I'm to make still exploring though. Oh. Living the dream sounds good. And then we got 35 platinum and 44 demonite. I may take this platinum just to make a sword. Just Ooh. so I can have something better. What's up? I found climbing claws. Ooh, nice. Those are really good. I, I like having <laughs> I like having the full set. Jeez. Can you drink some more water? Well all goes into the set. Do you remember? Uh it's just two climbing claws. One goes on your hands and one goes on your feet, and it uh prevents you from sliding down walls. Or it, uh, it lets you hook onto walls. So you can basically wall jump. Oh, okay. I thought there was some other combination. No, it's it's literally just uh, one that you keep on your hands and feet. You can't craft them into the same thing, though, right? I don't know, actually. Okay. All right, I'm just going to teleport back. I've... Okay, uh, I'm not going to use the uh, the Platinum ore yet, but I do need a weapon. Let's see. Is 100 degrees Kelvin in my house tonight? What? No. Jeez. <laughs> that's, Bullshit. That's not true. That sounds entirely too hot. <laughs> Hate the stupid copper sword you could have gone iron or something yeah i don't want to i'd rather take my chances looking for a weapon than crafting one hey where are you uh did, down here i'm getting more iron ore right now did you go left or right from the base i went basically straight down oh wait we, we're not on the team thing are yeah, we yeah i'm on yellow team okay give me a second uh there we go Why, what do you got? Uh, recall potions. I had 30 of them, so I'm going to give you uh, half. No. Uh. Sweet. You see, I got the little claws and the, yeah, yeah, the shoes, so now I can... Oh, can you hold on to... Can you latch on the walls now? If I can find a wall that's flat enough... Wait, here we go. Yeah, no, that's, that's like that's that's like my favorite combination. It just makes like traveling around so much easier. If only we knew where you died. Maybe they haven't di dissolved in the lava yet. Uh, then I'm sure they've already dissolved in the lava, dude. It's 90 degrees Fahrenheit, but it's supposed to be winter. I'll trade you. I had 70 degrees yesterday, and today is 40. Oh, man. And rainy. I just want, con I just want consistent weather. Oh, well, I live in the Midwest. I've given up on consistent weather. Yeah. No such thing. <laughs> yeah, no, you gotta, you know, live in Texas, so it's just like, it's whatever. It's whatever the weather feels like being that week. Lynn says she just wants cold and snow. <laughs> I don't mind cold. I, I would much rather prefer the cold, but I need spring and summer for my for my fruit and vegetables to grow. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I can do winter anymore. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I just get tired of the snow and I feel like I've just been cold forever. <laughs> this winter has just been so long, it feels like. Yeah, hold up real quick. Yep. 
I look at Ice Crown Citadel and think that's cold enough. Wasn't Ice Crown Citadel in one of the poles in uh, the Warcraft world? I could be misremembering. Did I have a bunch of building blocks to make backgrounds with? Oh, I did. Yeah, snow sucks. I've I've driven too much in the snow. Uh oh, Gondola's getting hurt. We gotta go save him so he doesn't drop all of his equipment. He's at half life. Whew. Okay, we saved him. All right, we have to bodyguard Gondola till he gets back. I'm back. I have okay. to go break the dogs up before they started getting into something. You were getting attacked. I ran down to save you. <laughs> oh, geez, I was. Later, you can combine the foot and fist spikes into one item to save space. Can I do it now, or do I need a, a third item? Oh, yeah, have you played that game Vampire Survivors yet? No, but I've seen Destiny play it, and it looks kind of cool. It looks like Loop Hero, but with... Um, more of that, like, Super Smash TV kind of feel to it. Oh, dude, it's so much fun. Yeah. It's it's becoming one of my favorite games right now. How much is it? It's two ninety nine. Oh, okay, so there's, like, literally no excuse to not play it. Yeah, there's literally no excuse why you shouldn't have it in your library right now. I'll pick it up after the stream. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you should uh, you should do a stream about it, or stream or stream it. It's a, it's a pretty good way to, to kill some time. <laughs> Destiny is cringe, but Vampire Survivor's Poggies. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Oh, zombie. Rip. I did get more iron, so I can get some more bars. Only four, but it's enough. It's probably enough to make a decent weapon out of. Hopefully. I realized we killed a boss, so the Dryad should be moving in, but then I realized we didn't have a room for her to move into, so I'm... Uh, that makes sense. Okay, so... There's a squirrel hook? 40. Never heard of it. You know what? I may make a tungsten weapon instead. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's, it's only six for tungsten... No, it's eight for tungsten broadsword. Remember when everyone was calling him Dust Tiny because of his manlitness? It, one of his alert <laughs> notifications is, thank you for donating to Dust Tiny. <laughs> how, or, uh, how tall is he? Uh, he's like 5'6". Oh, uh, okay. I didn't know that. Or 5'7", maybe? I don't know. I don't care about his height. Hmm. He's not my type, so I don't worry about that. <laughs> and he's a streamer, so it's not like... the. <laughs> it's not like it must be this tall to stream. <laughs> yeah. No one knows anyway, unless, like, you're standing by a doorway and then people can, like, just, you know... Or you go to, like, TwitchCon and you stand by other people. Yeah. Yeah. You know... And plus, height is one of those characteristics you really can't change. Yeah. But, um... What was, what's been really funny lately is he, he called another streamer short, but because yeah. he has a res reputation yeah. of being short, this other guy <laughs> <laughs> lost his mind. Oh, and has been, like, raging about him for, like, a week. And I don't watch internet blood sports anymore, but this is as close as I get to. Yeah. I get to there it these a, days. <laughs> There's some more tungsten. There's, there was some pretty good stuff earlier today that I'll tell you about after the stream. Sure. It's uh it was it's the most wild thing that I've ever saw. Oh no, zombies. Well at least the zombies drop a bunch of silver now. I wonder if they scale their drops with our, or their money. 
with our progress in the do. game. I think they do. Because I'm I'm getting like one or two silver for kills now. You can hear the small in his voice. <laughs> uh, that's that's someone memeing. There's no way you can tell how tall someone is by their voice. Otherwise, I'd be seven feet tall. Hmm. I'd be like uh, oh, a... Vash the Stampede, <laughs> who canon who mean? canonically is like seven feet tall, but he's like a bioengineered superhuman, so it makes sense. I haven't seen uh, seen that anime in like years. Dude. Yeah, it was probably worth a, a rewatch. Yeah, I do have most of the most of the series on VHS. But I'm missing like one tape and I'm so mad about it because I think it was just like some dude just like, like, oh, look, this this looks like something cool that I'll take back to my kid. So he ended up taking like one of the tapes I was in, like the middle of the series. And now I just have like all of them <laughs> except for one tape. And it makes me so mad. I uh, <laughs> the same thing happened to me with Inuyasha. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I asked for uh, an Inuyasha DVD for uh one of my birthdays yeah. and I got, I got like volume eight. So it was like in the very <laughs> middle of the series. I was like, Oh, okay. I'll just not know what happens for the first half of the, yeah. The show. I was like, thanks. <laughs> uh, that's funny. No. Uh, and then I, I discovered I pirating. Picking... Oh yeah. That is the easiest way to get anything you want. But uh, I, re I remember getting like one of the Dragon Ball Z tapes, but because I was I had already been like watching Dragon Ball Z kind of like you know religiously as a kid. Yeah, it's it, it wasn't that bad, like getting you know, <laughs> getting thrown into a series like on what there there were like what four four episodes on each like volume or something. Yeah, yeah. So what's that? Eight times four. What is that? Like thirty. That's thirty two. Yeah, thirty two. Yeah, Sorry, I, mean, I, was, like... <laughs> I was drinking. I could have answered that earlier. Yeah. I was about to say 36. I was like, no, that's that's nine. That's that's four times nine. But uh, yeah, it was like, that's that's wild. Getting thrown into a series 32 episodes in, not knowing what what's going on. Oh, almost drowned. Okay. Like, uh, like reading, reading modern day comics. It's like, oh man, where do I start? And it's like, well, you really want to start at this series, but this series right here is probably the best. Oh man. I never kept comics. up with comics, but I had a couple of good like comic series that I would read. Yeah. And if there was an if there was something that wasn't explained, they always had that editor's note that was like, "This happened in Spider Man nine nine seven. It was like, "Okay, yeah. I don't have <laughs> Spider Man nine nine seven, so I guess I'll just never know what happened <laughs> or yeah. how they did it." Nah, that's uh, that's kind of why I stopped reading comics. Uh, it was it gets too wild at times to try to keep up with all that. The real answer is you don't read modern comics. Sure. <laughs> I I don't read them anymore. I don't know. At least. One of my favorite comics. I I hope I still have these somewhere. I'd love to dig them up and reread them. Not that I'm thinking about it, but uh, yeah. Batman No Man's Land. Did you ever oh, read I, that? No, but uh, I was. I do have like some issues that are related to it, based oh, off okay. of the uh, Batgirl. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you've read Batgirl uh, with Cassandra Cain. Uh no. Uh it's 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 a really good uh Is she the one go. that hangs out with Huntress? No uh no, she hangs out with spoiler. Uh Cassandra Kane is the uh the Asian Batgirl who's a uh, mute. Or he she's mute for like a Oh, a okay, I know who series. you're talking about, but I didn't read I didn't have any of her issues. She I have like the, the, the mask she wore issues. was badass though. It's really good. It's a really good costume design. But uh, she has a really good run. Uh, at least the first one is like the second one isn't or like the second run is not that great, unfortunately. And that's just because of the writer. Um, the art's still decent, I guess, but 
the the those the guy that the author was not as good oh unfortunately but uh the the first artist that they had i forget his name but he's like a graffiti artist and he does he does action scenes really well dude i bet like his 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 action scenes are like some of the best like they're just very fluid and just like they they flow into each other <laughs> yeah, you're right, Raziel. I do have lots of issues. I was talking about comic books, though. <laughs> <laughs> now, No Man's uh, Land is, uh, like, what is it? It's like the United States government just gives up on Gotham City. It's just like, okay, you know yeah. what? Uh, we can't police this place because it's just so overrun with crime. So a lot of people, yeah. like, pack up and start leaving. Except, yeah. like, the the diehards that you would expect to stay behind, like Commissioner Gordon and the others, who are like, no, we must right. in instill law and order still. Right. Yeah, isn't that also where, like, Batman kind of goes missing for, like, a, w a little bit because crime gets, just gets so bad or something? Yeah. Right. I, I remember that being about something because, uh... I well, guess because they're, they're... He, sh he shows up, like... It's either Penguin or Joker, and it's been a while since I read it, so I want to see if I have it. Yeah. But, like, they're holding, like, a, a really messed up, like, gladiator fight kind of thing. Like, a really screwed up... It was, yeah. like, a gladiator fight, but, like, so people could have, like, food and water and stuff. Because, I mean, it was, like... It's, like, apocalyptic yeah. is how quickly yeah. the situation... And, like... And no one had seen Batman, so it's, like, Robin and Batgirl and Commissioner Gordon and everyone else, like, trying to fill in for him, which... Right. You know, th there's a line that's like, holy cow, how does Batman do the work of, like, the five of us in a night, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, so it just, like, really upplayed how badass Batman was. And then, like, <laughs> Batman shows up to, like, kick everyone's ass at this gladiator fight at the end, too. It was just like, oh, my God, it was so <laughs> good. Did you ever read the, uh, the New 52 Batman stuff? No. No, it's... It, it took a while for it to to get its get its bearings and then when it finally did get its bearings it was just it was already done and over and then and then the final arc or whatever it was not great it was stupid they just bring joker back oh because that's you know it's all the writers know how to do is just bring joker back red hood was the best batman character that was a good uh, animated movie did you ever see batman yeah. under the red hood yeah i, I, I oh. watched it it's it's really good that's uh, with uh, one of my favorite ones. Neil Patrick Harris's um, Nightwing, right? Yeah. 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 What a. That's so awesome. He's really good as uh, as Nightwing. Yeah, Nightwing was one of my favorite, my other favorite comics, and then Teen I never Titans. I read any of them. Nightwing got a, a little bit edgier than Batman sometimes. That's why, as I was growing up, I was like, oh, I, I think I like Nightwing more than I like Batman now. Because <laughs> I've probably liked Batman since I was like four, you know, right. like every kid. But then you start getting in the more adult, grown-up yeah. themes. And it's like, wait, hang on a second. Nightwing tackles some <laughs> issues that Batman would never deal with in Gotham City. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, no, the the only the only Batman stuff that I ever really read was uh, the New Fifty Two, Batman, uh, Batgirl, and uh, Red Hood. I did read the Red Hood Batman, which uh, it wasn't too bad. It was pretty good. Um, I do like the animated version a lot better though. Oh sure. Uh, it, it it has way better pacing. The the movie has way better pacing than the comic does. Didn't they, uh, they fought the superpower android that, like, has the superpowers of everyone's, didn't they? Amazo. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's still in the comic, I think, but the, like, when, you know, Batman and Red Hood team up for that first time to fight the, uh, the, like, the, those high-tech ninjas or whatever. Uh-huh. It's actually just some, like, reject villains that no one actually cares about. Oh. And it's just like, it's 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 really lame because the villains are super lame. You got like Captain Nazi or something like that, and just like some <laughs> other washed up villains. It, it's literally. It, I dude. I don't know if I could take a a villain named Captain Nazi seriously. At least I, 
What's his name his from? Name is Captain Nazi, but oh, it's okay. just like he's he's just a legit old Nazi super soldier. So like Red and Skull. I, yeah, except he's not as cool as Red Skull. Yeah, because at least Red Skull cool. had a Red Skull. Yeah. But uh, it was it was it was Captain lame. Nazi. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's what I call him. I, I I I wouldn't don't doubt if what the, his name was if the writing gets so bad at some point that we have to start dealing with Captain Nazi in the future. It we you might. <laughs> Let's see. Where am I even? All right, going? I'm so behind on chat because I've been focusing on digging and talking about comics. There's yep. a story where Batman pretends he's dead after it appears he died during a fight, but that ended pretty fast when the gang leader he was when he got the gang leader he was looking for. I don't remember that storyline. When in doubt, just drop Joker. True. I, I hate Joker so much. It's it's why I refuse to play Arkham Knight because oh, it's just like it's it's just the Joker again. And, and I'm sorry if I spoiled that for anyone. Oh, but. You, your final villain is just Joker again, even though he's dead. Wow. You're literally Joker. It. I hate it so much. I hate it. I hate it that reveal so much, and like people were so mad about it. It wasn't even that you know the game was like barely functional on release. It was just like. It was just. It's the Joker again. Yeah, it's just like ah. Oh. Like we've had Joker for like the last two games. I, like, what was it? It was did 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 you play Arkham? No. Arkham City? Nope. No. No. I, I won't spoil that one then. But yeah, it's it, it just got really frustrating with with the villains and certain cool villains getting sidelined for Joker. It's just like uh, I hate this so much. Yeah, Two Face is an awesome villain, and they don't give him enough time. I think. Yep. No, nope. you gotta, you gotta give it a Joker. It's just like I'm, I'm, I was like legit sick of it. <laughs> it's why I, I mean, I, I did beat Arkham, I did beat Arkham Asylum, and I did beat Arkham City, but I just, I, I couldn't bring myself to play. Uh, what was it? Arkham Knight. Arkham City Joker was pretty bad, says Lynn. Yeah, it was. It uh legit made no sense. They just they legit pull it and do an ass pull. And then I think there was like Arkham Origins as well, where Joker was also the villain there. And it's like uh I hate it. I Mr. Hate Freeze so was a good villain too, who didn't get enough screen time. Yep. A lot of them never got the the screen time they deserved. I want more Bane. That Bane's pretty cool. Bane is really uh, I got, cool. I, because in the comics, the he's, uh, fan. the comics have him way smarter than they portrayed him in the movies, too. And I, I, yeah, I didn't yeah. hate, like, the movie Bane, but, because I like Tom Hardy, but, yeah. um, it's, it's more scary to think about Bane because he's not just big and burly and strong. It's like, he's intelligent, too. Yeah. Well, that, so I, I didn't mind the way they, they portrayed him in the movie leading up to the reveal. Yeah. Where it turns out that Bane wasn't actually the mastermind. That that's where I had the issue because it yeah. was just like I was like, oh, Bane, Bane's making all these plays and all this stuff, and, and then, it wasn't like, it his. Just turns, yeah, and it wasn't actually his plays. He was just following orders. I was like, God damn it! I'm yeah, like, it takes away a lot like of the that. coolness when it's like it's not his plot. Yeah, when it's not really him behind everything. And but like, no, oh, we gotta like, we gotta go back to the first movie, guys. Yeah, we've gotta tie it all up somehow. Even though there was yep. no mentions in the second movie at all. Yep. Did you see the new Batman yet? No, my brother saw it, but he said it was pretty good. I've heard uh, it's he really good. That, he says that it runs way too long, though. I've heard that, too. Yeah, it, he said it's like a three-hour movie, and I was like, man, I don't know if I can sit through a three-hour movie. I did watch uh, Spider-Man uh, No Way Home. How was that? It's really good. But I have hard time understanding certain villains' motivations in that movie. Uh huh. Uh, did you said you didn't watch it, right? I didn't watch it, and I'm probably okay. gonna watch that one with Jill. Yeah, I I, I won't say anything more about it. But okay. like, if you watch it, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. Because it's just like I I don't I don't get why you're why this dude is so upset 
and why he's doing this. And then, like, dude, like, characters just disappear from that movie for, like, long periods of time. So it's just, like, it's really weird. Hmm. It's a weird, really weirdly paced movie, but... I mean, like, it's it's not a bad movie, but it's not the... it's still I, I still don't think it's... I, don't, I still don't think it tops uh, Spider-Man 2. It's Marvel. Yeah. I can't get into the movies anymore because there's never any stakes. I, I After yeah. um, the last Avengers movie... Or the big Avenger movie with Thanos, I was just like, all right, I'm I'm done, you know. Yeah. I liked End War. What were the two called? So I just get it right. Uh, End Game and Infinity War. Yeah. Okay. And End War. <laughs> <laughs> I mixed them both up. Uh, yeah. Uh, after I saw both of those movies, I was like, all right, you know, put a pin in that. MCU was awesome, and then they kept coming out with movies. I was like, I don't care about any of these plots or anything anymore yep like robert downey jr was the first one with iron man one and mm -hmm. with how the movie ended it was like oh there's gonna be no more of that you know so it's like i <laughs> i'm not invested at all i don't have that nostalgia and iron man's one of my favorite marvel characters anyways so yeah the only real but, issue uh, with Arkham Knight was a lack of big villains and too much badly done Riddler crap in Batman and Batmobile courses. Yeah. Oh, wait. Is this silver? Oh, no. I found some more platinum. Finally. Jeez. Also, screw the challenging courses and driving courses in Arkham... Arkham Knight had, uh, had driving Arkham Knight, courses. Nobody in wanted it. that. <laughs> yeah, no one wanted that stuff. That, I, I've seen that, dude. It's, it's bad. It's, it's a... Uh... It's stealth vehicle sections is what you have to do. Oh, if you want to see a comic character ruined, Deadpool is a good one. More ruined by the video game than the movie. I like the Deadpool movie. Am I? Is that an unpopular opinion? I don't think so. Uh, but I I didn't really care much for him either. Uh, I I mean, but then again, Deadpool's not like my favorite, you know, thing. Uh, I do like the Deadpool movies as like action movies. I don't. I don't think they're that bad as action movies. No. Um, but I. I don't know. I. I honestly, I thought I, the I could movie. Just, like, scroll through and just watch the action, and then just like turn it off. I thought Ryan Reynolds played him very well, and I thought that they captured a lot of like the Deadpool character, especially when he has the option to uh, trade away his powers and go to prison. You know, he's like. Yeah. And then the, the kid mutant is like, no, I want to go with him because he's my best friend. And he's like, kid, I want to die. You know, I <laughs> uh, this is the only way I can is for them to shut off my regeneration powers. Otherwise, you know, I'm going to live in an ugly agony for the rest of my life. And I don't <laughs> want that. I was yeah. like, man, that is so true to I, th I thought that was true to the character. Maybe I maybe I didn't read as much uh, Deadpool as I should have. Eh, I don't know. There's there's like a million different writers for Deadpool. True. So you know it's it's whatever really. I think Cable is one of Jill's favorite comic book characters. Ah, uh, okay. Cable is really cool. He's. I I I'm not too familiar with him. I I rem vaguely remember him in the X Men comics, and that's about it. Well, he's like a time traveling. Bounty Hunter? Ugh. Something like that. I don't remember. Holy cow. Wait, Deadpool has people in his head? Oh, yeah. Deadpool has multiple... He has all sorts of split personalities. Oh, um, in the in the comics, he, he'll have thought bubbles, but the thought bubbles will be colored differently depending on which voice is talking to him. So he has, like, a voice of reason, but it, it gets easily talked over by, like, the other three voices. Uh... Okay. Hey, what's up, CL? I didn't know that. Yeah, so that's why in the, like the Deadpool video game, they'll have multiple speech bubbles pop up, and they'll have right. different voice actors for each speech bubble because it's supposed to represent the different voices in his head. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that. I mean, I, I remember playing the Deadpool game a little bit. I think there was a demo for it, but uh, I I honestly didn't care for it. Uh, <laughs> Action games like that are like really bad for me. It's uh, 
it's mainly because like i like devil may cry so much yeah that whenever i play an action game like that it's just like this isn't devil may cry and i just i end up dropping it yeah the you game just... wasn't anything special i mean if you were like a yeah. deadpool fan you'd probably like it or if you're like a diehard fan i guess you'd hate it because it's like not deadpool yeah. enough because they have to uh you know censor some of his thoughts like what the real deadpool <laughs> would think in the in a real life situation but yeah so uh, i was playing bayonetta 2 on stream wednesday and like i i don't like bayonetta 2 dude uh -oh. i i don't i i quit it in the middle of it just so i could play devil may cry 3 and i was like this is such a better action game and i i will I will say it on your stream too, just, well, you just, uh, did. just to make people. No, well, I'm 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 gonna say something even worse. Uh oh. Uh, I I don't think Platinum are as great of developers as people say they are. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. Now I disagree. Nope. I am completely in the right here. Nope. Yep. Hey, have a good night, like, Merlin. Ka Kamiya cannot hold a candle to Tsuno when it comes to uh, directing action games. I always hated Cable and X-Men because he's the writer's no stakes, ran out of ideas, so we need to get away with nonsense that can't affect the main lore by the end of the arc. He's a lazy writer <laughs> crutch. Oh, because he could just use his time powers to reset anything that gets screwed up. Uh, I guess I can see that. Yeah, Lynn really did not like your take. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true. When she has Bayonetta they as a profile picture. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty sure I've had this discussion with her back on the old server where I said uh, I I don't like I don't like them. I don't I don't like those games. I think they're they're very subpar action games that serve as an entry to that series and don't you know show what that genre is actually capable of. Like Devil May Cry shows it. But Platinum did Metal Gear Rising. Metal Gear Rising is probably their only good game that I've played from them, from them, dude. Well, that's the only game of theirs that I've played, so... Yeah. I accidentally used a recall potion. God dang it. It's okay, we got plenty more. Yeah. And I found a bunch <laughs> more. Nice. Yeah, like, honestly, the only two games from Platinum that I've played that I've enjoyed is... Uh, Metal Gear Rising and Vanquish. And that's it. Like the, those are the only two games that I've played from them that I've actually enjoyed, and I, I don't like near Automata either. Uh, I find I find the gameplay very boring. I need to play that still. Yeah, I hear it's really good, but like I played the demo and I just couldn't get into it. I was like, nah, this this just makes me wish I was playing Devil May Cry. <laughs> Devil May Cry is just is 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 such a better tightly tuned game compared to Bayonetta and uh, what's it called and Nier Automata I disagree Devil May Cry 4 or 5 was Cancer AIDS I forget which one but I stand by it oh uh, I think you're wrong on that because Devil May Cry 4 while it might have been severely nerfed by Capcom's interference to push out a game faster it's still a better better game than Bayonetta. And Devil May Cry 5 is literally just a love letter to the fans for and an apology for saying like we're very sorry for that reboot of DMC Devil May Cry. And uh I did a whole break breakdown of DMC Devil May Cry as well in uh on my channel. Which is a uh, it's a pretty good video. It's it's not it's not as like, you know, what's the word? refined i guess because i literally did it in the <gasps> middle of the stream so <laughs> damn dude what was that that was a chest rigged to explosives uh lynn the reboot doesn't count because it's literally an entirely different timeline <laughs> literally a different series <laughs> oh my god i I got exploded. At least you get to keep your items. It's true. I'm just shocked. <laughs> it just I did not expect that and all of a sudden it's like it ripped in half by explosives. I was like, oh my god.
No, they're they're not different sides of the same stuff. They're literally completely different. Uh, Bayonetta is literally just a bun masher. Please uh, stop arguing fire. with my chat. No, <laughs> they they you you have casuals in your chat, Will, and they need. To I'm be... casual. <laughs> Y'all need to be uh, educated on the finer qualities of video games. Alright, hey, I made you an obsidian skull, <laughs> so now if you wear this, you'll be protected from fire blocks damaging you. Hey, that sounds pretty sweet. Alright, I'll head up there. Look, I've like literally been going through like... <laughs> Condola's interacting with us. I'm interacting with you guys. <laughs> Except you guys are talking about Double May Cry, which I have yet to play, so I can't... Yeah, why haven't you played it yet? You have them already, Will. Yep. I've already, I've already played Double May Cry 3. Well, no, I haven't finished it yet. Uh, I played a little bit on stream, but uh, you know what, dude? I, I can't bring myself to stream Devil May Cry. I love that series so much because it's just like, it's something that I that I know a lot about. And I don't want it to be like, hey, this is, uh, this is me doing my, my cool... Uh, where does this go? Is this a... Uh, okay, it's an accessory. Yeah. The, yeah, okay. the obsidian skull? No, you yeah. put it on your social slot. You put it... You wear it in, like... Where you put oh, the you? double jump item. And... Yeah, the, the accessory. Or, or you mean social... Oh! Accessory. No, I guess... Hang on a second. No, it's, it's, uh, it's just a normal accessory. Yeah, but you're... If I take off my mask, it doesn't show me wearing a obsidian skull. Yeah, because your face is covered by the by the helmet. Mine isn't. Oh, you're wearing a different helmet than me. Oh my yeah. god, I am. All right. <laughs> I have three brain cells. Yeah. All yeah, right. but uh, like, we have I, a goblin I, I, army I, attacking, by the way. Oh jeez. Literally not ready for this. Yeah, you are. But uh, I, I I've considered uh, Devil May Cry to be the game that I play when uh when I graduate. That'll be my final game to stream. Oh, that's a, a sad Devil thought. May Cry. Yeah. Or whenever I retire. I'm not... It's 9 o'clock on a Friday, Jay, and I've been drinking energy potions. I'm not tired. <laughs> oh, shit. I forgot their magic can go through walls. Yep, you're not safe. Yep. God, and their magicians can teleport, too. Oh, I guess I should fight near you, where we have the Healy items. Uh. Okay. Okay, this is not a good setup to fight in. Yeah, it's really not. Uh, I need... Do I have any health potions? No, I do not have any health potions. Uh, I have some in the... One of the chests up here. Oh, wait, I got some. It should be a stack of 30. Yeah. No, I, I got enough. We've been playing oh, for hours, ball. probably only two hours at most. Yeah, spiky balls are what they drop. There we go. If only we had a minigun. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, who, whose fault is that for playing on casual? Uh, I think we can. I think we can both take blame for it. <laughs> God, let me through! God damn it! Oh no, I'm gonna die out here. Okay, no, I, I made it. Heal or go talk to the nurse and have her heal you. Oh, wait, I left uh, this door open. Yeah. Crap. Okay, Close the door! Okay. Oh, I opened it accidentally! <laughs> Alright. I'm running. Uh, it's too late. I'm trying to pull them away from the house. I'm trying to get into the tunnels, but they won't let me. No, you don't want to fight in the tunnels. With the, especially with the magic users. <laughs> nah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. All right, 25 more seconds I can heal. Uh, I don't know how much time I have left. Oh, god damn it. What killed you? What hit me? I don't know what hit me. Oh, Archer. Oh, 
archer from where? Oh, there he is. He's literally down right there. God yes. damn it. Health. Casual or normal core, whatever it is, so I don't lose my items when I die. Yeah, no, I said casual. casual. Well, yeah, there's a I, even I, a lower I, I setting medium. called journey, I think, too. Yeah. Okay. I just gotta grab my items. But I can't get my armor on, unfortunately. Uh, they're all in the tunnels now. Alright, I'll uh, try to clear out what I can. Try to help you get to your armor. Alright, close the door so they don't... Dude, he's punching him. What a chad. Nah, I, I just have a copper oh, sword. Oh, copper sword. <laughs> it looked like a, a fist for some reason. Nah. Okay. I still got a thousand bullets. Nice. Alright, where's your stuff? Oh, I see. Uh, it's all the way over way. there. Yeah. Alright. There we go. Got everything back. Let's get this out of here. Get this out of here. Get this out of here. There we go. Oh, God. Yeah. Let me put the spiky balls in slot two. I'll probably play Halo and WoW the VTuber gods. What? Oh, Gondola, you're bugging? Am I? How? Or is my model bugging out? Oh, uh, they said yeah. you you were bugging. I was. I've been watching my game. I've been watching you. Yeah, I, I haven't been looking at the stream uh, that much. There you go. Just hit him with spiky balls. Yep. Get out of here. Oh, they say you're good now. Oh, am I? Okay. Yep. Well, at least we'll get a bunch of money out of this. True. I'm trying to remember if there's like any cool weapons or accessories or something that they drop. I don't think so. Uh, need help. Because I, I, I remember the pirates drop a... Uh, like scimitars and stuff, and you can get a cannon. Huh. Okay, there we go. Where's my potions? God dang it! What are we at? 88%? Okay. Yep. Oh, put the banner down. So we do more damage banner to him. Do. Oh, okay, okay. And got that wizard. I'm at one gold. Hey, what's up, oh, Dorzo? Uh, All right, we're at 99. All right, we defeated them. Yeah, now we just got to clean up the rest, right? I think so. Yeah. Oh man, this wizard is like really annoying. That one? Yeah. Alright, there we go. Is that all of them? Yeah. Oh, did we not get anything cool? Oh, but now does the Goblin Tinker join us? Is that the... I don't remember. We gotta unlock something for having gone through all that. <laughs> uh, I got one gold and 18 copper and eight or 11 silver. How much you get? I have four and a half gold. Jeez. But I didn't die, so... Yeah. Uh, I wish I didn't lose that fucking gun. Would have made that so much easier. Yeah. Yeah, it would have. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'm 25% of the way on, on the way towards another one.
Where's what's the map again? There it is. The Goblin Tinkerer will appear in the world somewhere. Oh, we have—he's one of the ones you have to rescue. Gotcha. Oh, uh, okay, okay. He's the one that lets you reforge your accessories to change the uh, like damage and defense on them. Right, right. And um... what's the other thing he does? Oh, and then you can make accessories. I think at his tool shop or whatever oh, okay. it's called. Cool. Oh, wait, I forgot I had a uh, platinum ores on me, so I can get those forged up into some bars. See what else I can make. Four bars, four iron, and 29 copper. Let's go. You've been napping a lot lately, Dorzo? Sleepy boy. You're at 53 platinum. I'm just so worried that if I, if I nap, I'll just sleep the whole day. Yeah. And then I'll wake yeah. up at like 3 in the morning and just be like, oh my god. <laughs> There's nothing to do. Like, no one's awake to play games with, no one to chat with, no one's uploaded anything new to watch yet. Oh. Yeah, that's that's what's been happening to me lately, uh, is that I, I usually queue up, like, all, all the videos that I've, like, you know, built up from the day and, like, either watch them at night or, like, late afternoon. Uh-huh. And then it's just like, damn, I don't got anything to watch now. And none of this uh, algorithm stuff looks interesting. I, uh, so I just I, I gotta sit there and watch more episodes of King of the Hill, which isn't bad. <laughs> I but, should uh, I should do a watch along with that because I haven't I've only watched like three episodes of King of the Hill, but I'm going back as an adult and rewatching it. I'm like, okay, this show is awesome. Why did I sleep on it for so long? Yeah, no, dude, it was uh, it was one of my favorite shows as a kid. Like I I remember it premiering and it just like I was like, oh, this show is like amazing, and uh, it, it quickly became like m my favorite like you know sitcom cartoon whatever to watch yeah like that wasn't the simpsons like i i enjoyed that show way more than the simpsons dude like at that time period let's see can i not make a platinum pickaxe because we got like 53 should Feels be like able to sword. i i have uh, a platinum pickaxe so you should be able to make it Huh, I'm not seeing it pop up unless it's like up there. I mean, I could make a platinum uh, helmet and chest plate. Just what you said, the stupidest thing. You keep talking. <laughs> it's really good. I think uh, I think my favorite one is when uh, when Luann's trying to get Hank to vote for a communist. What? And uh yeah, so she 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 goes to like she she gets political or something like that. Or not like super political, but like she starts getting into politics. Uh-huh. And uh she's like she's like I don't know, Uncle Hank, you sound like a communist because of like all his rules. Uh-huh. And he's like he's like I am not a communist. And then she and then she has like the the little uh puppets or whatever. The yeah. ninja babies. So she she has she brings the donkey out and just goes e you you're you're communist. And he's like Luan. He's like he's like stop now before I call you an idiot and you start crying. And then she <laughs> like, keeps taunting him. So he, he goes he's like Luan, you're acting like an idiot. <laughs> she starts fucking crying. <laughs> <laughs> and then Peggy comes out. And she's like why was Luan crying? He's like because I called her an idiot. <laughs> and then she's like again. <laughs> Oh man, uh, it's like Luan's one of my favorite characters. But uh, yeah, is it uh, I, Dale who's yeah. like the conspiracy theorist? Ah, uh, dude, Dale. Dale was ahead of his time. <laughs> yeah, it's like, true. You, he'd be a like, Q, he, he'd be a QAnoner right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dale was super ahead of his time. Oh, <laughs> but uh, I I went to Walmart the other day because I, I had to go pick some stuff up. Uh huh. 
and uh, when I was there, I decided to look through like the DVD sections. I was like, well, I don't have a DVD player, but let's see like what like obscure TV shows Walmart decided to like put into print again. Right. And they had the first four seasons of King of the Hill on DVD. Oh, it's all on Hulu. So that's where I've been watching it. Oh, is it on Hulu? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. That is that is awesome because uh, I've been using like legally acquired, uh, you know, copies. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. So I've been using those. And uh, suffice to say, the, there's not much of a change in quality between, you know, the the digital legally acquired copies that I had and the DVD copies. But, oh, uh, I've it, seen it's... that episode, Raziel. That's one of the few I've seen where uh, Peggy and Bobby eat barbecue cooked on charcoal. They yeah, realize it uh... tastes so much better than propane. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, so they're like... <laughs> I think I remember... Uh part of the episode like hank grabs bobby's hands and he sees the black smears of the charcoal <laughs> yeah. it's like what? did you bring an unclean fuel into this house boy <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> <Yeah>. oh <laughs> Man, my god like, it's like there, there's suit underneath my boy's nails like, <laughs> like oh. it's a drug or yeah. something yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man it's a good one but yeah, I've been I've been rewatching them since I have them on DVD now, and I was like, yeah. oh man, like I, I hope this gets more DVDs released because I really want all of the I want all of them on DVD. They used to have them on DVD like way back when. But, Imagine having know, a DVD player. I mean, I I had to buy like when I bought those DVDs at Walmart, I was in line putting an order in on Amazon for like same day delivery for a a DVD player for, for a, the computer. <laughs> Yeah, the for for a disc reader, <laughs> and then I ended up getting it that same day, and I just watched like two discs that day. Nice. So I'm like almost done with season one again. I I used to have DVDs of the Boondocks, and that was one that oh, I, I, still I watched have those, all the time. Dude. There's a did did you ever watch the director's commentary on one of them? No, I've never seen the director's commentary. So there's one of them for uh, when he when what's his name. Riley meets uh, what's that rapper's name? The the gay one. Uh, thug, thug, no, not Thugnificent. It, no, it's Thugalicious. No, it's, it's oh it's Gangstalicious. Gangstalicious. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He he meets the Gangstalicious, and Gangstalicious is, is going over a dream that he has, uh -huh. where he's talking about like who his rap idol was, and he was like, he was like, you know, my my. He was like, when I was your age, Ice Cube was uh, was my favorite, uh, was my was my hero. And Huey just looks at him. He's like, he's like, you mean the guy that plays that that does family movies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but uh, there, there's a director's commentary for that episode where uh -huh. uh, uh, Aaron Magruder talks about an extended scene that was supposed to happen because uh, Gangsta Licious says like. He's like, yeah, I, I used to dream that he, he broke into my house and killed me and my family. <laughs> <laughs> and he and he said that they had the entire storyboard for that, like all played out, but they couldn't do it because it was just it was too long for the episode. Oh, no. And I was just like, oh, man, I was like that. That sounds like a great, like a great just, gig, uh, yeah. gig. Yeah. Gag. Yeah. Yeah. I was like. Like me, me and my friend would talk about that. It's just like, it's like, oh man, I wish they could have done that. But yeah, that that whole episode is like. It's I like great. they got a. Um, they had Samuel Jackson play a white guy. I thought that was kind of funny. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the. Uh, what's his name? I don't even remember what his name's supposed to no, be. No, but, but he's yeah. like uh, Ed Wensler's. Um, yeah, like friend. friend from the military. Were they? Was he in the military? I thought he was just like some dude that he hung out with. Oh, at least uh, Ed was in the military. Yeah, yeah, Ed, Ed, Ed I, was in the military. I don't remember. Maybe his <laughs> friend wasn't. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember what his friend was. But, uh... Oh, I found the Goblin Tinkerer. Oh, nice. You are free, my Goblin friend. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, it just sucks that, like, half the people that did voices on that show is dead now. Well, didn't the voice actress for Peggy die, too? No, it was the voice actress for Luann. Oh! And, uh, uh, Tom, Tom Petty did the voice of Lucky in that show, so oh. Tom Petty's dead now, and Luann's dead. So that that entire family unit is like devastated. Legit, gone. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's it sucks. Uh, I know they've been talking about wanting to bring back King of the Hill again. Yeah, I saw there was but... talks of doing what like 
three seasons or something? I wouldn't mind, honestly. But I, I don't know how I'd feel. Like, like inside, like, the King of the Hill fan wants more episodes. Because I love that show. But do you but think, like, time, modern writers would do it justice? Uh, if Mike Judge comes back for it, then I, I would have faith in it, dude. Uh, Fair enough. Yeah, if, 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 if Mike Judge was still, still doing it, I, I think he can still do... I think he can still, you know, write and direct and stuff like that. So I, I wouldn't mind if he was... You know, if he was still helming it and stuff like that. Well, aren't they bringing back Futurama too? Yeah, they really didn't. Uh, it's Hulu that's bringing back Futurama. They, okay. That, that's a show that didn't need to come back, honestly. I like the way it ended, so that's why I'm kind of yeah, like, that's... you can't end it on the note that you ended it on. And then, because even then it was like to get that ending was like twisting Fox's teeth, right? Because they had the yeah. rights to Futurama. So... Yeah, and so then to Fox say they didn't want to do it. Yeah, and then to say, oh, we bought the rights to it and we're doing it again. I was like, wait, no, you you guys fought tooth and nail to get the ending that you got. Just leave it yeah. at that. True. Yeah, it it sucks. It. I mean, like even the what was it the the first Back to the Future movie with Lars. E even that was like legit a perfect ending for Futurama. Yeah. But I don't know, dude. They 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 keep they keep bringing it back <laughs> when it it doesn't need to. It it had a it had a really great ending. Uh, yeah. You know, the, the, what third time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I lied. The episode where people were catching salmonella poisoning from the chicken, but they were acting like it was a pandemic virus. Wait, I don't remember what? that? In what? In King of the Hill. I don't remember that episode. That's I haven't a, I haven't seen enough of it to call out. No, that that's like a legit episode I don't remember. What season was that? Maybe it was like a later season and that's why I don't remember it cuz I I've I've seen the the earlier seasons way more than I've seen the later seasons, so that's probably why I'm not remembering it. Oh, I'm in the middle of the uh episode where um the substitute teacher of the year has to teach um sex ed at the high at the school oh, oh that's a great episode <laughs> and, I and they're like <laughs> you don't peggy's know like I am, but peggy's I know like where you live <laughs> <laughs> peggy's like hey you should really talk to your son about the you know the birds and the bees and he's like peggy my back's all messed up <laughs> yeah. and she's like oh okay <laughs> <laughs> It's such a great episode. I was like, it's well, got a great ending too. I, I I stopped like halfway through it. We're like Peggy, oh, you or, didn't watch it. I haven't finished it. Uh, um, it's it's got a great ending. Or Peggy's like reading the book, and then yeah. she gives, and she's like, "How would you say? That? Can you read this?" And then like yeah. Luann reads it, and she like reads the whole sentence. She's like, "I don't <laughs> understand what's so difficult about this." She goes, "Luann, is it difficult living without any shame?" And she goes, yeah. "Nope." <laughs> <laughs> no. no, she's like, it, it, she's like, is it a good feeling? And she's like, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Luann's a great character, dude. She, Lu Luann, like, legit has, like, like a redemption arc almost, like, as that series goes on or as those seasons go on. Yeah. And, and and then I'm not gonna lie to you. She she kind of has like a recession, but she but that's mainly because she starts to like not play as big of a role in later seasons. <laughs> what I, shame. I think that's, yeah, but but I I think it's just because of the actress's availability at that time. Uh, if I remember right, uh, I don't remember exactly, but uh, she she still has like a lot of good episodes later on. Yeah, I think Peggy is a a commonly hated character, isn't she? She she is, but she's the. That's why I like her, dude. Like, Pe Peggy is like legit one of my least favorite characters, but that's why like she is one of my favorite characters on that show, because she's just like so flawed. But uh, nah, she, Pe Peggy has like a lot of great episodes. Just over here trying to farm cash right now. Yeah, I've got a couple gold. I spent some gold on rocket boots from the uh, goblin guy. So I think I can make the Terraria boots or whatever they're called. Are you nah. still there? Oh, there you are. Yeah. Sorry, you just went quiet for a minute. I was like, uh oh, hang on a second. Yeah, nah. I was I was just about to say like I, I was just about to continue on with Peggy, but uh, she was trending on Twitter like a few days ago. Really? 
Yeah, because everyone was like, you know, it's like, oh, you know, Pe Peggy this, Peggy that, and it's just like, uh, yeah, Peggy's cool. But uh, I, I think a lot of people started making it more political than what it needed to be. Well, see, that's my worry. If they if they brought that show back, that would just turn into yeah, politics. Politics. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I was gonna say like it's. I don't want to say King of the Hill has always been political, but it's it's been more. It's got uh, some commentary, I suppose. Yeah, it's, it's it's got commentary to it, and it's not like you know, it's not beating you over the head with something. It's mainly just like pointing stuff out that was. I don't even want to say relevant at the time. Honestly, that's the it's like King of the Hill is a timeless. It's timeless, show, yeah. Yeah, because of like how it handled the, those topics. So it's just like it's like oh, like some of this stuff is like super relevant still. Like Gosh, the, I'm uh, I'm thinking a reboot where in like Luann and Bobby have cell phones now. Like cell phones yeah. are an invention that's changed writing because there's like so much that you can look up and, and do that it like solves so many like plot contrivances that writers have yeah. used in the past. So now it's like I think they do eventually give them cell phones. Yeah, they, they do get cell phones. There, oh, do there's they? An episode, yeah, okay. there, there's actually an episode about them getting cell phones and it's really good. See I'm thinking I'm thinking like Luann starts an OnlyFans account or something. Nah, <laughs> she, she wouldn't do that. Nah, she wouldn't do that. That's like way out of character. Or, for or Bobby starts streaming uh, Call of Duty on Twitch TV. <laughs> I, I, I could see that one being an episode. But I, I feel like they already covered the gamer. Dad, episode with they're that. my friends. <laughs> Bobby, if you ain't ever Bobby? seen them in real life, they ain't your friends. <laughs> my Hank is needs work. Yeah. Dang it, Bobby. <laughs> Uh, no, hold on, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. Bobby what becomes a Fortnite gamer. <laughs> yeah. I could actually see that. Uh, Bobby's been playing these games with these people on the internet. <laughs> he keeps asking me for a V-Buck. I don't know what the exchange rate is between the American dollar and a V-Buck. <laughs> uh, no. Nah, I found where I died and got all my gold back. Nice, nice. And there was items in that chest, too. Nice. Dad, okay. I just need 20 bucks for the battle pass. I can't do a Bobby. But, eh, no, no, no one can ever do a good Bobby impersonation. It always comes out <laughs> like either sounding like yours or it's just like, but eh, or something like that. It comes out sounding way more like raspy than it needs to. That's this a fairy. Yeah, but he is it is a raspy voice to be fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Bobby's also a great character. <laughs> I like Bobby. I don't have anything wrong with Bobby. No, no, I, I said Bobby's a great character. Yeah, I was just agreeing with the, the notion by. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I I thought you like misheard me or something like nah, that. No, no, no. I don't think I did. Okay. What is this green fairy doing? Is it leading me somewhere? <laughs> Bobby, the only battle pass you need is battle responsibility, and the pass is self-respect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'd say that too. Uh, <laughs> Remember when Bobby got a bad grade in English? Bobby, you speak <laughs> English. <laughs> Bobby, how <laughs> Bobby, you speak English. Oh man. I'm I'm trying to think. Oh, uh, so so if you're on that episode, then you then you saw the the Willie Nelson episode, right? The Willie Nelson episode. Yeah, it, it's like the maybe maybe you didn't see that one then. Uh, I gotta I gotta look up the episode uh the episode guides again. But uh, no, I'm um, sure. what episodes have you seen then from from Hulu? Oh my God, it was. It's uh, the sex ed episode. I'm about to pull yeah, up my Hulu like and. Yeah, I was gonna it. say it's the sex ed episode. It's the uh, the first episode. What was the first uh, episode? Uh, with uh, CPS where they try to take Bobby away. Oh, because they hear Hank yelling yeah. at him all the time. So <laughs> yeah. <it's>, uh... <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that whole first episode's great. No, I guess and the then, others are kind of like a little bit of a blur in my head, so I don't... Yeah. How much health do you have? 
one or two twenty two, I think. Then I'm late. Oh, two twenty. Okay, I'll save this one for you. All right. So you watched uh, the pilot episode, Square Peg, and that's it. Uh, unless you saw us Order of the Straight Arrow. I've seen. I've just seen other episodes just okay, so episodes in in, like, in passing, but I haven't uh, on okay, Hulu. I haven't watched beyond the second episode yet. Okay. Okay. I'm surprised, dude. Like, whenever I watch King of the Hill, dude, I usually end up just, like, watching, like, eight episodes. Because I just, I love that show so much. And, like, every time I watch it, I just quote it. So, honestly, <laughs> I, I, can't be there. I can't be there for a watch along because I'd just be, like, quoting the entire show. No, it's a self-mute you. <laughs> yeah, like, take away my, my talking privileges because I will literally just start quoting episodes. Or just like saying whatever they're saying at the same time because it's funny as hell. Does it? Yeah, um, yeah. No, I guess not. No, my brain's just spinning uh, and I'm not. I'm not getting there anywhere. I was going to ask a question. Now. I can't freaking remember. Rip. Yep. Can't help you on that one. Was it King of the Hill related? It was King of the Hill related. Uh, God, uh, my I hate having just two brain cells. I wish I could <laughs> rub them together and make a third one. Yeah, mitosis don't work that way. <laughs> or mitosis does work that way, but <laughs> unfortunately it doesn't work that way on your brain cells. Oh, wasn't... Man, there was, wasn't there a whole episode where Hank... There was another guy that was like doing all the stuff that Hank would do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got uh, Drew Carey as that character. Yeah. It's a great episode. <laughs> like, my favorite quote in that is uh, when Bill and Dale get super jealous, so they try to learn how to work the tractor. Yes, and they get the tractor the, stuck in the, yeah. the the dig. Yeah, the hole yeah, they were digging. Do you remember how they, how they try to get out? No, I don't remember. So Dale's uh, or Bill and Dale's idea is to take the tractor and take, like, the bucket... And like latch it onto a tree branch, and Bill says like, "It's like no, let let uh pull us out from that branch, and then we can swing out of here like a monkey in the jungle." Yeah. <laughs> hey, come here. What's up? There you go. Now you should have yeah. as much health as I do. Cool. But yeah, it's like the fact that Bill thought the his best idea to get the tractor out of the hole was to, to try to, to latch it onto a tree. Yeah, latch onto a tree and then swing out of it. Oh man. Bill's also a great character, dude. That uh that order of the straight arrow episode though, that's that's legit a great episode. <laughs> There's so many good bits in that episode, dude. Like uh, when we're when we're when, done, you should just marathon it. I'm I'm thinking when we're done the stream, I'm just gonna hop into the voice chat and boot up, uh, King of the Hill. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, I don't know. You, you know what? I, I think I'll do the the Strangers of Paradise stream tomorrow, or may, maybe it depends like how many episodes you stream. I'll, I'll I definitely want to watch King of the Hill again. When Dale helped the tribe, now that that's done, John Redcorn get in there and massage my wife. No, what? You son of a bitch, after all I did for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, oh man, the, the whole John Redcorn and Dale thing is, like, great. Like, have you have you seen that episode? No, I was quoting from chat, uh, okay. but I... <laughs> I think I knew enough of the characters I got the voice about right. Yeah, no, no, but I, I, I mean, like that, that whole episode is just amazing. It's really good. Oh God damn it! I accidentally used my potion. I like alt tabbed out because I had my Twitter feed open and uh, I saw a, an art, not an article, but an ad for uh, someone taking commissions. I was like, yo, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm addicted to, to getting commissions now. <laughs> I just need to find a better way to find artists that I like on Skeb and then I will I'm gonna commission like six yeah uh, the so what I'm really doing right now is uh, I'm trying to keep it down to just like two commissions on Skeb a month oh. uh, I, I think I think that's a at least for me I think I think that's a that's a good uh what what do you call it um, like line I guess yeah 
Yeah, I, I think that's a, that's a pretty good spot for me. Well, I I had one commission that was kind of expensive, but like I really liked the artist and he accepted it. And I was like, oh man, this is going to be so good when it's done. And then it came up like a week before the due date and then it canceled. And I was like, what? Uh, that fucking sucks. Dude. So now I got like $200 back. And I'm like... <laughs> so now I'm like, okay, I can commission all this stuff. Hey, Luca, I'm sorry you're not feeling well. I hope you feel better. I won't be able to stay long, but you have fun and stream. I think we've been having fun the whole time. But uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, I hope you get better soon. And uh, we'll see. Uh, my next stream's probably Sunday morning, so. We'll, we'll see you next time. I've been seeing a lot of people get sick lately. It's probably yeah. just because of, like, allergies or, you know, changing of the season again. Yeah. I know Libra was sick when we streamed, but she's like, "Oh, I really? took a I took a two hour nap. I'm doing good." I was like, "Honestly, if you need to cancel, it's fine because I'll play Elden Ring yeah. instead or something." Yeah. Elden Ring's good. Elden Ring is good. Can't wait to stream it some more. <laughs> they nerfed my turtle shield though. Oh, we're using the turtle shield? Yeah, because it gives the stamina regen, but it also had 100% uh, physical absorb. And then the uh, okay. the barricade That's ability was already. pretty good. Okay. What's the barricade ability? Uh, it reinforces the shield, so it takes less stamina on blocks while it's active. Uh, okay, okay. And I'm, I'm really using guard counters a lot. Yeah, so it... It helps. Like, it oh, it helps help. so that way I don't blow all my stamina blocking the attack so I can actually initiate the guard counter ability or I don't get guard broken and then uh, criticaled. Right. So. Right, right. That sucks though, dude. Yeah. So it went from 100% uh, absorbed to 87%. 80. Was it 87 or was it 84? 87. Oh. Yeah. It sucks. To be fair, the turtle shield shouldn't have been an improved grass crush shield. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fair. Yeah, grass crush shield was pretty OP back in the day. Yeah, the best shield I never blocked with. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, all you needed to do was just keep it equipped on you, and you just got the ability passive passively. Yeah, so when I was playing it today, I was just I stuck it to my back. <laughs> uh, I was like, all right, turtle. I'm, I'm gonna two hand my my mace now and. Uh, yep keep the turtle shell on my back uh, I, I didn't start using a shield until like towards the end game where like enemies were legit just getting like really really uh, aggressive I mean like they're they're already aggressive dude like it's it's wild how aggressive those enemies are sometimes well I killed a one of those cemetery shades on stream but I yeah. killed it with exactly three guard counters because they don't—they're glass cannons. They don't have a lot of HP. Yeah. So I would just buff the turtle shell, let it do its full attack combination. It trigger a bleed on me, but I would survive the bleed and then guard counter it, heal, barricade, block an entire attack combo, guard counter, <laughs> drink to heal back from the bleed, and then guard counter and killed it again. I was like, oh, I nice. legit killed it in three hits. Nice. But guard counter didn't help against Radon. Yeah, nope. Well, it, it'd probably help now, considering how nerfed Radon is. Maybe. Well, some of the characters, the monsters and stuff, are just so big that even if you block their attack, they yeah. still overwhelm your character and, like, shockwave him away and knock him back, so you can't, you're not even in range for the guard counter. It's like, yep. okay, cool, I didn't take any damage, but uh, I can't, I can't capitalize on this. Yeah, nah, it sucks. <laughs> yeah, Radon was a tough fight. Oh, yeah. Nah, it was I a tough fight. Now it's that. nerfed, and now it's probably... It's literally, like, it looks like the easiest fight now. I, I, I kind of want to download it again just so I can try it out myself. But, uh, I don't know. It's yeah. whatever. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious. I, I've been looking for the entire patch notes, but I can't find them all. No, that's the thing, is, like, th there's no... From software didn't say, oh, these are all the enemies we nerfed, these are all the weapons we nerfed, these are all the items that we buffed. 
they just said various fixes and adjustments or something. So it's like, yeah. what the hell does that mean? Yep. But apparently Radon got super nerfed. Which uh, really sucks. Yeah, they could have just left him as like the Nameless King. You know, where yeah. he just has the reputation of being the tough boss. Yeah. Uh, these dogs are acting up again. <laughs> it's just because my brother's getting home. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they're they're barking at him to hurry up and get inside. There's danger out there or something. You know how it goes. Oh, yeah. Ro if Rocky hears a noise outside, it's, <laughs> you know, boo! It's like, Rocky, <laughs> if there's anything out there, it's the neighbors, and you know all the neighbors. <laughs> There is no danger. Yeah. So that's how my littlest dog is. Uh, I think I told you last time she thinks she's the alpha dog, so she'll literally just cause like you know trouble. Uh huh. Yeah. Or not trouble, but you know she thinks she's bigger than what she really is. <laughs> so I. So if she ever starts like you know causing a ruckus, I gotta like you know, show her who's boss, and I just, like, kind of pin her to the floor until she, like, she's like, all right, fine, it's, we'll call it even. <laughs> like, she she won't even submit to me, but she she does know that I am the boss. But, like, if, if me and her are, like, tussling, like, she, she won't even, she won't submit. Huh. So, she, but she'll, she'll accept a draw, but that's about it. <laughs> so, it's just, so, like, so, sh so she'll stop. But she's just, she'll just give me that look like, like you didn't win, <laughs> even though like <laughs> I had her completely like you know immobilized that she couldn't do anything. She couldn't like bite, scratch, kick or whatever. And she's just like she's like she's like you didn't win. That was a draw. <laughs> she just like and then just like go back to the sofa and like lay down. And then she'll try it again later. And it's just like dog. I literally just I literally beat you the other day. Not, not like her, physically beat her. Yeah, you, no, I, but like we we fought. You won. Yeah. I don't know. I, I like uh, I like I don't want to say grappling or sparring with them, but I, I like wrestling with them. It's it's a lot of fun. Uh, Rocky know, does not like Rocky. wrestling. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. Nah, this... He loves tug of war. I can. Oh, yeah, no, tug the, of war the with him all day. War, but uh, they th this dog loves wrestling, dude. Like she gets super hyped up for it. But uh, she is also an indoor dog. Uh, we don't, we, even though we have a house, we don't have like a, a fence or anything like that. So it's kind of hard to get them outside oh. just because, uh, you know, no fence. Right. So hey, what's up, Nibblish? Burnout. <laughs> Reading Raziel's comment. Okay, bye. <laughs> We're even <laughs> for now. <laughs> but you have to sleep sometime. Oh no, she she'll she'll like absolutely cuddle next to me when we sleep. Rocky is a a, a bed cuddler. Yeah. And like I only have like a twin size, so it's just like trying to fit three dogs on a twin <laughs> size. Like, it's like dogs. Yeah. You can't. <laughs> that's not gonna work. Yeah. It only works if they're all on the same side. Otherwise, then it's just like if they're both on like equal side on like different sides of me. It's just like I'm literally sandwiched between them and I can't move. But uh, the the big dog, he he kind of realized when like it's time to go, so he'll just like you know excuse himself. I think Rocky's figured out when bedtime is because he'll he'll, oh, really? he'll get up and go from whatever bed he's in and crawl crawl into my bed. Because he's like, all right, I'm gonna get an, I'm gonna get a spot early, and I'm like, no, that's not how this works. <laughs> Does he take like the middle, the middle portion of your bed? No, he goes and grabs all the sheets and the comforter, and like makes it into uh, a rocky nest. <laughs> I'm like, that's not how this works because I'm gonna sleep under those. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what my dog does is she'll she'll take the center of the bed. And it's just like, no, dog, that's my spot. And I have to, like, push her out of the way. And she, like, she'll like she'll get grumpy with me. She'll just go, like, err. And then she, she won't do anything, but she'll just, like... It'll let you know she's displeased. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, 
dog. You know how this goes. This this is my bed. Like I haven't kicked her out off the bed yet, but like if she doesn't want to give me like my center of the bed, then like she can sleep on the floor. Yep. But yeah, no, it's it's funny. Uh, I had my neighbor watch Rocky when I had to take a, a week to do a work trip. Yeah. And I offered, I was like, oh, you know, Rocky is crate trained. I don't use the crate a whole lot, but he will go and sleep in his crate. Mm -hmm. She's like, no, 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 it's fine. You know, I let the dog, she has a dog too. She's like, I'll, I'll let him sleep with me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and come back and pick him up. She's like, he hogs the bed. I'm like, yeah, I've just learned to sleep around him. Yeah. I, I don't fight him anymore. She's uh, like, no, I, I would, I would kick him to the side so that way I could get in, I could get comfortable, and he would get up in the middle of the night and try to push me out of the bed. Jeez, I was like, oh no, <laughs> Rocky is such a <laughs> selfish dog. I know. Oh man, that's funny though. Counterpoint: You sleep on the floor, let the doggy sleep in the bed. Hell no. No. Gotta pop my wrists. Let's see. Nope. Uh, nope. I, uh, what's up? I don't want to hear it. Uh, <laughs> hear what? Oh, popping? Yep. Oh. I didn't know you were like. Oh, well, I get. I, sometimes I get squicky about it, and it sounded like it was gonna be gross, so I was like, nope, I don't need to hear wrist popping. <laughs> Does I Rocky it, like, right shed? Off, Rocky sheds all know. the time. I don't even know if like it's a seasonal thing with him. Huh. Sorry, someone in chat was asking. Yeah. No, I, I, I didn't think Rocky shed that much. Yeah, he sheds. Oh, okay. He sheds a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's how these dogs are. Like, literally got dog hair all, all over my console that I need to clean off, like, every other week it feels like. It's insane. I don't... I don't go to the range a whole lot. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just keep my guns locked up, but uh, uh, I uh, I took him out to just like check on him, and yeah. um, I was like, "How did dog hair get in here? <laughs> I haven't taken these out in months." <laughs> Jeez, yeah. it gets it gets everywhere. Yep. I need to get a. I, I feel like I need to get like one of those portable dust vacuums or you know uh, dirt devils or whatever uh -huh. and just like have that in my room just so I can clean up all the dog hair that gets in like all the nooks and crannies and like all over my desk and consoles dude because it's it gets bad and it's just like I I do what I can to clean it like you know every other week but it's just like there's so with much with dogs it's a losing battle yeah it really is it's like the only thing you can do is just shave them <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd never shave Rocky. I always feel bad when uh, um, they knock him out right. for like his dental cleaning, uh, and they they they'll shave a little spot in his arm for the IV, and I'm like, oh no, he's bald in one spot. <laughs> uh, that's funny though. Okay, I made that's it. Weird. They didn't do that for my dog. Really? But she, she well, I, I think her hair is like a lot shorter. Her hair might be shorter, shorter than Rocky's. So Rocky is pretty issue. short. So uh, let's see. I'm trying to find where I put all that. There it is. All that gel. That's what I was looking for. At least I put all the gel up and all my rope up, so I can go back to exploring. You didn't lose all that. Uh, oh wait, I did have a better weapon this whole time. It's called the Deadly Bat Bat. What is a Bat Bat? It's a Bat Wing that's just a melee weapon. Oh, so it's a Bat Wing Bat, okay. Yeah. It's funny, we were talking well, about a, Batman a... earlier and you had a Bat Weapon. <laughs> yeah. But it's like super slow. Does it have a high knockback? It's, uh, let me look at it again. It's, uh... It's 34 melee, 4% critical strike chance, very slow, average knockback. May heal user on hit. Oh, it's got uh, vampirism. Okay. Yeah, it's a... And then it has a plus 10% damage and plus 11% speed on it. So it's actually somewhat decent, except for, like, the well, slow attack. 34 rate. damage is pretty high for... 
uh, yeah. where we're at right now because the musket I have does 32. Jeez. I don't remember what the land shark did. It did low damage, but it did a lot of lo low damage, that's why. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I am missing wood. Sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> yeah. Got what him. I fucking saying? Let's see. Where the fuck is the wood at? Glocks are fur like... magnets? I wouldn't know. I don't have a Glock. Yeah, I don't have a Glock either. No, wait, do I? No, I don't think we do. <laughs> yeah, I, what? I just have so many guns, I can't remember which ones I have. Dude, I think I listed all my guns once to you. Oh, you, you might have. Yeah. Actually, you know what? You have. I just don't have yeah. the list memorized. I just thought it was funny. There's like, oh, I have so Maybe many. Yeah. Well, the, the, the only reason I don't know is because it may have been my dad's, and I don't know what guns he had. Or what he has. If we summon Eye of Cthulhu again, will we get more uh, Demonite Force from it? Yep. Ah, okay. Well, uh, let's not do that just yet, because uh, we don't have enough money for another gun. No, and I'm saving up for the Tinker's Bench. Oh, uh, okay, okay. What's that one do? Uh, that's what lets us reforge uh, the accessories, and also lets us mix accessories of the same type together. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Do you go hunting with your crossbow, Cyber? Oh, uh, that's pretty cool. I always wanted a, uh, a crossbow. But, uh, never got around to buying one. I wanted a crossbow after seeing, um... Walking Dead? Yeah. <laughs> you got me. I think everyone did. I, I knew some people who, who hunted with crossbows. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's not a bad zombie a zombie weapon, dude. No, I don't I don't think so. You used to. Okay, cool. Okay, so I can combine the Hermes boots with the rocket boots and get the Spectre boots. We're at 70 platinum bars right now. Dang, how did we get so much platinum, dude? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just chat with you and things happen. And I'm, j I'm just mining stuff. Hey, don't go too far. What's up? Ah, uh, cool, dude. How do you keep finding all of these? Holy shit! I don't know. Did Gondola get scuffed? No, he's, yeah, he's still nah, moving. I, 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 I look a little low quality on your stream. That's all. I have ni 95 more platinum, by the way. <laughs> Jeez. Where'd you fucking find it all? I'm telling you, dude. I just zone out yeah, and like mine I... and chat. That's that's yeah. all it is. Nah, because I, <laughs> I've been doing the same, but I haven't been finding anything, dude. It's like I, I find like little patches here and there, and like that's about it. I'm a terrible shot, and I never had the desire to get better. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, I can put the whoopee cushion with the cloud in the bottle and I could do farting double jumps. Wait, I never went back and got a... Uh... God damn it, I keep forgetting to grab the wood. <laughs> I keep getting sidetracked with shit. Lynn, all I did was I put a red dot on everything that I owned and I was like, oh, now I can... Yeah, now My accuracy at the range went up really well. <laughs> you don't even have to worry about aiming, dude. No, I got a uh, I got a red dot on my uh, on my CZ Scorpion, and it's just like, dude, like you don't even have to aim anymore. It's ridiculous how accurate that thing is now with the uh, with the red sight or with the red dot. <laughs> Want to own a gun, but the stay won't let you. That sucks. Shall not be infringed upon. That's no, all as far as I'm gonna go. Okay. <laughs> I was like, no, no, we're getting into politics. <laughs> Stop, no. Oh, I, I was even hesitant to bring up the guns, but I wanted to talk about just like, I don't shoot a whole lot, but even still, just like Rocky Fur just ends up everywhere. Yeah. Okay, I need to find wood. I just need a few because I need to make more, more torches to like finish looking through my caverns or 
tunneling through the caverns. I don't think I checked this one. Uh, uh. Dirt, chandelier, uh, wood platform? No. Okay. You don't have any wood on you? Uh, I got a bunch. I can I have like a little bit? How much is some? a little bit? I don't know, how much is a lot? There's, on this far left chest, there's 43 palm wood. I don't know if that's can gonna- Can you use that to make torches? Uh, you should be able to. Oh yeah, you can. Well, there you go. There you go. All right. Wait, I guess I still got a platinum ore just sitting in my inventory. Better not walk out with that. How are you doing tonight, White Moon, by the way? I didn't ask you, I don't think. Oh, I was getting a door ready. working on what end game yeah uh, I was gonna head back into the tunnels and look for more stuff okie dokie mainly just uh you know more ores and stuff like that uh, I think I just found more here like it's literally just sitting in front of us just literally iron deposit like right here where I usually pass through. Oh. Just didn't, couldn't really tell what it was. So I was like, yeah, whatever, it's nothing. Yeah, it's a little decent. Could probably use this to make a uh, an iron pickaxe soon. What are you making another, uh, Another part of the building. Yep. Because I don't want to. Oh, for the for the tinker or for the for someone else. The dryad didn't move in because I found the tinkerer first. So now I'm gonna make. Uh, okay. Make a room for them. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I'm just I'm just building to make a room. You know, yeah. they can tear it down if it looks bad. I don't mind about looks. There we go. Seven. Hopefully that's enough to make a iron pickaxe. Does not look like it. I don't know if this is big enough. Someone messed with your mixture. I'm sorry, Raziel. I didn't know you worked in a laboratory. That's... That's rough. Yeah, where are the tools at? Five, six, seven, eight. Or do I need something else with the iron to make a pickaxe? You need an anvil, I think. Where's the... Well, yeah, I'm, like, standing right by the anvil, but I don't see... Like, the swords here... Yeah, the swords are here, the bow's here. And the iron anvil is here. But I am not seeing the pickaxe show up. Letters. Wish there was an easy way to sort through all this. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. What's up? It's above the swords. This is the pickaxe. Oh, do you have wood? You need wood to make the shaft. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. Yeah. 
All right, give me a second then. Can I, and then yeah. I'm gonna giggle because I said shaft. Yep. Uh, Where are see. my stone walls? There we go. Chop this tree down real quick then. Alright, there we go. That's... okay. <laughs> Keck, that's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's go. up, Skeletal? Right. Right, Skeletal right, invasion has started. Wait, really? I don't know what that means. Oh, uh, Skeletal? Oh, I think he's literally just coming here to hang out. Why is that name familiar? Skeletal? Yeah. I don't know. It looks familiar, kind of. Skeletal, do I know you from somewhere? Let me check something. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. It, it it made me think of a uh, of another skeleton VTuber that I know. That's always uh, up to no good. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize like how big the skeleton VTube community was, dude. Oh, is it big? It's it's huge, dude. Uh, the last time that the guy mentioned, I think it was like two weeks ago, he said there was like a hundred skeleton VTubers that he knew of. Oh, wow. That's a yeah. lot. Yeah. And uh, apparently they're all in like one big discord as a uh, as a skeleton army or something like that. So that's pretty cool that they uh, that they got their own little community. Oh, I know who it is now. <laughs> Up to no good. Do they have a bone to pick with you? I'm surprised yeah, how many goblin VTubers are out there. Uh, I know that there's a lot of goblin VTubers. I know they have the same thing going on as the skeleton VTubers. Uh, like they, they, they're all in like their own, like weird discord goblin cave. So mm. that's pretty cool. Uh, I should gather all my alchemist friends. Yeah. And make an alchemy How many themed. Are there? Um, there's me, there's Ali, there's Lumia, there's, uh, Oh, there's the Mango Alchemist. I can't remember what his name is. I feel terrible. I can't remember names. Huh. Uh, oh, hang I on. I think I heard Game Goblin talk about the... Belladonna's the an apothecary, which is like an, an alchemist sometimes. Okay. Um. Oh my god, I'd have to scroll back pretty far. <laughs> oh, and then... Uh, uh, Iru Ben, I think is how you say her name. Mm -hmm. She's an alchemist. Okay. I don't know a lot of Mecha VTubers. It's weird. I see a lot of VTubers in... Oh, I was right with Iru Ben. I see a lot of VTubers in, like, Techware. Yeah, but they're not Mecha. And they're not Mecha. There's, like, one Mecha VTuber I know, and, uh... And uh, she she's doing the the art for my new model. Cool. Yeah, because uh, she because she did her own model, and she's like really into Mecca as well. So I was like, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna go with her. She she knows Mecca. She'll most likely know what I want. Right. So uh, she she's gonna be working on it hopefully soon. Sorry guys, I was alt tabbed looking up Alchemist VTubers. <laughs> But yeah, like this, this is the, uh, the gondola model's not going away. It's still gonna, still gonna be around. Cyrus says he's working on a mecha VTuber. Really? That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I do remember Cyber talking about that. Yeah, yeah. How's that going, Cyber? I know you were talking about that, like, months ago, but, like, I ain't seen you in a while, so, like, I don't know. I, I figured you managed to pull it off, or you know, you had to put it on the back burner. I 
to like i i know how expensive getting into vtubing can be yeah like it's it's ridiculous sometimes Yeah, because uh, there there's certain projects that I wanted to do that I've had to like put on the back burner. It's just like you know what, maybe maybe come at this at another time. My I have the I have the funds for it. The part that gets me is um, time, time, and I can't hog my my artist and, yeah. and animators. So it's like okay, hey, I want to do another outfit or get another toggle or something. And they're like, okay, yeah, um, we we have openings in May to get started, yeah. And it's like, you know, it could be a month or two of work beyond that. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I'll never get, <laughs> it'll never be here. And then it's like, okay, well, I want that, but I, I I want you to do something, but I haven't finalized the idea I want. And they're like, oh, okay, well then we'll just get you on the next go around. I was like, crap. <laughs> so now it's okay. I'm gonna. Make sure next time I have a solid idea of exactly what I want. I'm not gonna let the it, let it slip from me. <laughs> no, I, I usually have like my my ideas like kind of already at, done before I like go to my artist just to make sure, or not my artist, but you know one of the artists, and just to get like either a PNG done or something else done. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the the artist that I've been working with, DeForland, he's been really cool. So he's he's done the new PNG model for me, that uh that I use a little bit. But uh yeah, sorry about that dog distracting. Oh you no, you're fine. Yeah, dog being a distraction. But uh yeah, so uh, I. He's he's been helping me and he's got the he's basically helped me get the get the new model all not sorted out but you know he's help, he's helped me get a get it started at least so that way I can go to uh, the the person that I want to go to now I was gonna go with him but uh, when I found when I found out that the uh, that the other artist was doing like you know live two D commissions I was like you know what I'm just gonna I'm gonna go with her because I I know she'd be able to do what I need her to do right. But uh, I still go to him for like you know other stuff, fund him I guess. <laughs> if you want to call it that? Fun Gundams. Oh man, I've actually been playing a uh, playing a Gundam game lately. Uh, Gundam Breaker Three. It's really good. It's uh it's very crazy with how uh how big the customization is in that game. I haven't played a mech game in a while. Oof. What was the last one? Did you say it was? Oh, I can't even think of what it might have been. Uh, BattleTech? Does that count? I don't... Yeah, kind of. It's got mechas in it. <laughs> yeah, but it's like it's a strategy game, not a. That eh, still counts. The mecha genre is sorely lacking these days, so I I take anything that I can get. Yeah, you know what we need? We need another uh, armored core. Come on, FromSoft. <laughs> There's a there's a uh, a ferret VTuber that I watch that I love to mess with because he hates he hates armored core, <laughs> or at least he, he he hates certain armored core games because he says that they're actually bad and I guess I can take his word on it because he's a uh, he's labeled himself as the FromSoft ferret so all oh, he does is play all he does is play uh, FromSoft games so I'll I'll take it oh. that he. he know slightly what he's talking front about. mission is getting a remake i forgot oh yeah yeah i saw that 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 looks i don't know how it looks uh i wasn't i did play really damon x machina it lynn but it's been a long yeah, time since should, i picked that up you should have got it that. when it was free on the epic game store ew epic game store whatever they got free games i'm willing to take their free games i'm glad uh that's all it takes to for China to buy you. <laughs> yep. Hey man, that's that's all it is. It's like, hey, they got free games and I can make a profit off of it. <laughs> it's money that I don't gotta spend. True. Like my my epic game store is full of nothing but free games. There's nothing that I've bought. 
And I was like actually kind of mad because um, Stranger of Paradise is on PC, but it's only Epic Game Store exclusive. Oh, yep. For now, so I've I've had to I had to go buy the PS4 version, which I've seen, and it looks bad. Does not. It doesn't look bad, but it, it lets you surf like toggle because I, I I didn't I just booted the game up so that way I could load it. So that way, you know, if I do decide to stream it tonight, I can just like, hey, it's like, all right, everything's loaded. I can just start playing. Right. Um, but it, it gives you the option if you want performance or uh, visuals. Uh -huh. So uh, I, I went with the performance, but I didn't start the game yet because I didn't really want to be spoiled too much on it before, like, I started streaming it. Right. You want the reactions on the stream. Yeah. I get you. But, uh... I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll see how it goes. I mean, like, where where are we at? Oh, dude, it's like ten thirty. Jeez, these streams always go by so fast. With I know. Dude. Oops, <laughs> I uh, hit a water thing. There you go. That's fine. And we started earlier too. Yeah. What time did we start last time? Uh, I think it was around this time. No, we didn't start at this time. We didn't start at seven o'clock. Are you sure? Oh no! I, I thought you meant like we started at this time, like the time it is now. No, no, no! I thought I, I was trying to say we started at the same time, okay. as in we started tonight the same time we started last time. Yeah. Sorry, that wasn't clear. Huh. There we go. More money. There's a lot of copper down there, but it's in the water, so it's not worth it. Copper just isn't worth it. Yeah, it really isn't. It's, I'm not. Like, that's not what I'm spending my time on. Yeah, my God, I mean, it's all it's all I've been finding though. I need to find whatever trinket lets you breathe underwater, because all these caves are just full of water. <laughs> yeah gets like that when you get a uh, when you get deep enough no i'm just in the jungle and it's like okay i found a cave down and it's flooded and i don't want to drown for money but it's not enough yeah, like even the, uh, even like the jars that I find just don't have anything in them. Sometimes I find bombs in them and those are worthwhile for excavating yeah. out areas. Yeah, they really are, but I just, I have not been finding anything, dude. It's wild. A ton of glow yeah. sticks. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's all copper down there. It's not worth it. What are you guys talking about in chat? They're talking about jiggle physics in chat. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh, I'm not going to get involved with that. So, are you getting into Blender, or are we just talking about... Jiggle physics in general. Just jiggle, yeah. Do I have any bombs? No, I don't think so. I gotta make little breathy holes in the water. Yeah. So I don't drown. Been learning about game development in your free time? Nice. Oh yeah, no, that's that's pretty cool. I want to get back into that, but uh, I bought uh, the I bought the new RPG maker, and I'm like, I when am I gonna have the time? Why did I spend money on this? I I thought about it. I thought about getting that too, just because like I've been getting into pixel art lately. Uh huh. 
just like, oh, you know, and maybe I can like do like make some pixel characters, do something with it and RPG maker. But I don't know. I, I, I don't know much about that engine to like, you know, make it worthwhile. But I don't know. I, I also want to get better at pixel art first before I actually start, you know, working on something. trying to make yeah, working on something big. So maybe I should stream a few pixel art streams again, just so that way I can uh, I can get back get back into it. Cause there there was a time where I was doing like a, a pixel piece like every day for a few days for like about two weeks, and uh, you know it was coming along pretty good. And I actually saw myself uh, getting a little better. Strangers in Paradise is a Final Fantasy 1 remake? Yeah, it is. That's why it's called uh, Final Fantasy Origin. Oh, okay. Hey, Dryad has made it. Good deal. Now, are, th are they the same names? Uh, what do you mean? Are the characters named the same as... I think so, because in Final Fantasy 1, it's basically just, like, name your own character type deal. Oh, okay. I, I think, like, the general consensus is, is that the dude's name is Garland, or Jack Garland. But, yeah, I, I don't know enough about the original Final Fantasy to, like, actually tell you. Uh, I, I played it for, like... <laughs> Like, even though I have, like, you know, Final Fantasy Origins, like, on the PS1. NPC names are all the same? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, like, I, I never made it that far. Or I, did, I didn't play it that long to, like, memorize any of the characters. Not gonna lie, that makes me hate Strangers in Paradise more. <laughs> no! Why? Oh my god. This oh my god, I just accidentally thing. called the fucking queen... Nice. Yep. Uh, rip me. That's okay. This poison fish was like literally just killing me. Where did the queen bee spawn at? Uh, in this hive I was exploring and I grapple hooked through her gel thing and I didn't mean to. Nice. Not nice. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the little bees. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, the ads she summons are annoying. I, uh, I feel like I'm doing okay on her health. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh like my god. Right. Alright, we just gotta watch out for when she summons ads. Like this. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. How far are you out? Are we on different teams again because we died? Uh, did you join yellow? Yeah, but I don't see you popping up on my thing. Uh, I didn't unjoin yellow. Huh. Maybe you're just Hang on, I can't, I can't do it right now though. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, it's it's fine. Yeah, I was trying to figure out like how far were you or like what direction you were in. Man, I would have made an arena if I knew I was gonna do this. I'm just pre-firing her. <laughs> it's uh, it's Rainbow Six now. I might die here. Rip. Drop some health. Nope. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's summoning ads again. All right, I just gotta live for four more seconds. Three more seconds. Yeah, you got it. You got it. One more second. Okay. Like a second of your life. I just needed the HP potion. <laughs> hey, what's up, Flygore? Welcome to the stream. I am uh, killing the Queen Bee solo. I did not mean to... 
I did not mean to do this. Stop <laughs> summoning ads. I can't kill all the bees. Oh, she's not doing ads anymore. Okay. One more. Yeah. There it is. Holy cow. An accidental boss fight. Yep. Oh, so you're gonna pick up uh, vampire uh, vampire survivors after this? Yeah. Oh, uh, you are. Jeez. I think so. Nice. It's it's a legit a fun game, dude. Uh. Oh shit, a gray slime. Oh no, it's a baby one, so it's it's literally nothing. Uh. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Like when I first played it, I was just like, "Oh man, I can't believe I fucking bought this game." Cause I, like, when when the the first like minute that you're playing is a little boring uh -huh. because you're 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 it, you know if you see the the gameplay and all that stuff, you start off or like you see you see them all like powerful and stuff like that. And I was like, "Why am I not like this yet?" And it's just like as soon as you get those power ups, so dude, it's 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 insane. Hey, thank you for subscribing, Flygor. Um, I don't think we're opening the uh, stream to other people. It's just the two of us playing right now. But um, maybe another time we can play Terraria together. Terraria, community Terraria might be pretty cool. Yeah, I said I would do... I've been saying I would do some community stuff, and I've just been too lazy yeah. to put it together. <laughs> and I say yeah. lazy, honestly. I'm, I'm busy in real life sometimes. And by sometimes, I mean a lot. <laughs> it happens. What now, are you going to do about it, though? Quit my job, do this full time. Yeah, can you? No. Rip. But if I did, I could, and I would, and then I would have the community servers. And then there wouldn't be any excuse. <laughs> I'm glad that I can kind of do this full time just based off of uh, my military checks that I'm getting. Yeah. Pretty good, man. You should do it, dude. Do what? Join the military, get disability nope. checks from them. <laughs> Why not? I'm already disabled. They wouldn't let me join. We've talked about this. Nah, you didn't get a waiver for it. No, I know. I didn't know a waiver existed when I was trying to sign up. People told me this like three years later. I was like, oh, well, I definitely don't want to join now. I'm, I'm kind of set in my ways. I don't think I would survive basic. Nah, you'd be fine. Just go to Air Force basic. It's super easy. <laughs> it's probably easier now than it's ever been to. To join the Air Force? Yeah. Just based off of like all the crazy shit that happened back in the day. But uh, yeah, nah, shit's shit's probably like super easy now. Very unfortunate. Just join the Coast Guard. That Coast Guard ain't easy. Nah, fuck the Coast Guard. They don't do shit. <laughs> I uh, I listened to a story about um, some people in the Coast Guard dying on a training exercise. Eh, that, that's gonna happen anywhere. <laughs> it happens in the Air Force, too. Man. Yeah. Uh, I remember... Uh, whoa. I, heard a, I, oh, I heard yeah. a story about the Air Force with the... Um, they have those, like, super specialized helmets that are custom made. Yeah. And um, they they tell the pilots to, like, not get a different haircut. They have to keep the same haircut so that way it doesn't mess up the fit of the, the super special helmet. Uh, that might be true. I can kind of see it. Those, uh, but I don't, I, I wasn't a pilot, so I couldn't tell you, honestly. Okay. But it was, like, the, it's those helmets that, like, have the integrated, like, cameras so that way the, your plane isn't in the way. Like, if you look outside the left fuselage 
you yeah. would just see like empty sky and everything else that's around you. You wouldn't see like the wing and the body or anything like that. Like it makes the entire aircraft transparent while you're wearing that helmet. Huh. I was like, that is some cool tech. That sounds awesome. Yeah. I mean, if, if it exists, I don't know about it, oh. unfortunately. It's okay. I understand. It's a, you'd have to kill me if you told me. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, no, top, like, it's top I was, secret. I was, my, my fucking job was to just look after the planes like oh. what what went on inside of them i i didn't care gotcha actually my job wasn't even to look at the look at the planes we didn't have a we didn't have a uh what's it called oh shit oh shit okay i fell in water that's good okay i was gonna be like uh oh <laughs> what do i need to come help with no i i fell because i got knocked off uh no my my base didn't even have a didn't even have a runway we uh we looked after satellites so it was like all the all the satellites that y'all use for GPS. That's that was my job to protect them, <laughs> or protect the personnel that you know looked after that stuff. Yeah. Um. Didn't one of the U.S. presidents declassify GPS for? Uh, maybe I don't know. All I know is that the uh, the satellites that we looked there were like the ones that you'd use on like your GPS or you know people uh -huh. use on GPS. But uh, that's that's all I looked into, and I was like, eh, that's pretty cool, I guess. I could have sworn that started as military technology, and a U.S. president declassified it so that way civilians could use it. I could see that see that happening. Honestly, that's that's how you know most stuff kind of starts out. Yeah, so what other secrets is the military hiding from us? Uh, uh, I don't know. Probably aliens or something. Uh, if you look into it, the base that I was stationed at, they were, uh... Oh, no. What uh, class am were... I? Ranged, melee, mage, or summoner? Uh, we're not even deep enough into the game where we can pick specializations. Yeah. Uh, I'm using the... Oh my god, I don't even know what gun this is called. I'm literally just... The musket. <laughs> We had a we had a mini shark, but uh, my friend on medium lava. core died with it in lava. Yep. When I play a focus melee tank with the optional range, it, melee is really good because uh, the yo-yos count as melee. I think so. You have some like melee ranged abilities, and I think some of the thrown weapons count as melee, like the paladin hammer. Yeah. So there's some good weapons in, in melee that don't limit you to... Oh, and then, like, the Terra Blade and stuff also have, like, projectiles that you throw, too. Oh, uh, cool. And some of the swords, like, shoot beams or call down stars and... I don't know. There's... There's some ranged options. Yeah. If you're melee. You're a mage? I like melees. Or mages. One of the armor sets is like a mini game where you pick up like these little particles and they power you up. That's and pretty sick. Yeah, so like one increases your crit chance, the other increases your damage, and the other increases uh, mana regeneration, if I didn't say that already. Crap, fucking bats, dude. Yeah, you get Meowmir from the uh, Moon Lord, right? Do you? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it's the Nyan Cat Sword. Oh, uh, that sounds awful. Let's see. There's like this weird glowing rock here that I want to go smash. Probably nothing, but uh, it's got me curious. Yeah. Yep. Let's ah. see, what is this? Uh, it was literally just a topaz. <laughs> I was like, so hey, remember when you run. said it was nothing? <laughs> Guess what it turned out to be? <laughs> literally nothing. Don't believe it. I can't believe it. Let's see what's down this way.
All right. There it goes. Oh man, big slime. There you go. Easy. All right, that's right. The the gray slime can split off. Multiply itself. Yeah, when you when you kill it. Easy enough. Dude, I'm finding nothing but iron, and I'm so deep. <laughs> I'm just trying to find a way through the jungle here where I can... Like, maybe a jungle chest would be cool? I don't know. Yeah. Literally anything right now would be cool. I, I just keep finding flooded hallways, and I'm just like... Nothing exciting. Yeah, this is a terrible game world. <laughs> <laughs> what is it called again? Uh, Murky Pond Murk or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that it was just named Murk, I was just like, all right, th maybe this will be fun. And it's just like, ah, this world kind of sucks. Okay, I guess I don't need... Gosh, do I throw away copper? Really? You might as well. Oh. I've found, like, so many of it. Yeah, this whole cave is flooded. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do something tricky. Okay, this is a safe spot. What kind of creature am I collabing with? Uh, gondola is a gondola. Yeah, this is literally nothing to it. <laughs> literally just gondola. It's a super ancient meme character that I was like, you know what? I don't want to be a gondola. Why? Because I can be. Yeah, the power of VTubing. Yep. But uh, I will be changing species to human in the near future. Uh, maybe, I don't know. It, it, it'll probably be like later this year or something like that when I get the new... Uh, when I get the new model. Cool. Yeah. At least that's what I'm hoping for. I'm, I'm hoping, like, by summer is when it'll be done, but the new artist uh, seems to have, like, two others ab uh, before me. That's not too long of a wait. There's a yeah. jungle chest. Nice. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, my gosh. I finally found... Something decent. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I found this giant, like, cliffside. So oh my to, like, god, it's a magic down. mirror. Nice. What's it's, that do? Uh, it's a recall potion, but it uses mana instead of a potion. Yeah. Alright, maybe there's one in this other chest and I can give you one. Eh, doubt it. I first th thought he was a fuzzy slice of bread. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, if you want a better explanation, uh, you can look up gondola on Know Your Meme, and it'll uh, it'll give you the entire lore dump about what a gondola is. But uh, basically, gondolas are offshoots of uh, of uh, what's it called, Spurto Sparte. Which uh, is a Finnish meme of some sorts. But uh, Gondola is like legit one of my favorite memes. Uh, I legit can't get enough of Gondolas. Nope, Super I found the Feral Claws, which uh, increased melee swing speed. Nice. Yeah. I could actually use that for this sword, considering how freaking slow it is. Oh yeah, that's a good point. All right, we don't need dirt blocks. I'm throwing those away. I get rid of them. Get him out of here. Unless, you know, you want him for other stuff. Nope. Oh, I'm so glad I found a magic mirror. That's such a <laughs> quality of life item. Now I can give you all the recall potions. Nice. 
until we find you a magic mirror. I have the honeycomb. Oh, I got a beekeeper. What's that do? Uh, it's a it's a sword that summons killer bees after nice. striking your foe. Nice. I like that. That sounds cool. I did find some bombs finally. Apparently, I just completely missed the gondola meme. <laughs> <laughs> People don't know what yeah. you are. It's a it's a very very ancient meme. Like, if you know, you know. If you don't, you know. Don't don't even worry about it. I, I remember that. I remember gondola from my four chan days. <laughs> That's basically what it is. Can I just find like some platinum, please? please? I'm like so deep down. I don't know how deep I am. Ancient is from 2015. Yep. That's ancient in the internet time. That that really is ancient internet time. It's like you, you look at how fast like internet culture moves and like how fast memes become obsolete. Yeah. Uh, like who remembers who touched my spaghetti? Yeah, who who remembers that? I vaguely remember it. Yeah, and that was from 2019. Was that really 2019? I think so. Oh no, that is that's a long, long time ago, dude. And it only was around for like a month or two. It was like a January, February meme. Alright, what was I going to work on? Oh, I was going to go cleanse the corruption a little bit and break one of those orbs. Nice. Alright. Oh, man, there's like just a huge thing of lava down there. Oh, yeah, Uganda Knuckles came out and overtook it. That's right. <laughs> Uh, who remembers Uganda Knuckles? That one still gets repeated. What do you mean, yeah. who remembers that? I've not seen a Uganda Knuckles in like years, dude. Oh. Hey, I think anything Rickroll and Beyond is ancient. <laughs> Rick rolls a classic though. Yep. I I mean like Rick rolls will never get old to me because I actually like that song. <laughs> I, it's such a harmless meme too, so I don't think yeah, there's. Yeah, it really is. I can't like, see I people getting upset by it. Yeah, I can see people just going like, "Geez, I can't believe I fell for that link." Do I not have a hammer? You gotta be kidding me. No hammer? Yep. Rip. Yep. Whoa. Eater of Worlds has awoken? Okay. Did uh did I go too deep? Nope, that was this is all my fault. Uh oh, nice. Alright, I'm heading back up. I'm just a little bit to the right in the corruption if you wanna come down and help. Okay, I'm heading over there. Okay, let's get out of that spot. Can you lead him uh, up more closer, or is he just, like, down there? Uh, I don't think I can lead him out, because he'll despawn if I do. Uh, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, jeez, I forgot those thorns hurt. Yeah, and don't don't free fall because there's nothing to catch you. Ah, uh, shit. You just have to grapple hook or s something. Okay, it's like super dark down here, so I gotta. Yep. Jeez. Uh, I don't have a freaking grapple hook. 
Ah, uh, whatever. Hang on. I'm, fine. I'm chugging through him with all the bees I'm summoning. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're fine. Yeah, bee sword was the way to go. Yeah. Yeah. No, hey, was, thanks for the help, bro. <laughs> you were there in was, spirit. Yeah, I was trying to get down there, but I, I can't take this drop. No, no, it's all right. Oh, no, it's too late. They, they made me take it. What made you take it? Oh, the things bumped you? Yeah, ah, whatever. I got a potion. I just recalled back. Okay. Nearly killed me, dude. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, look at how much health I got. That was a good teleport then when you did. Yeah. Oh, wait. What am I doing trying to, like, climb out? I have the magic mirror. Blah. Yeah, dude. I'm back. There you go. Let's see. Let me drop off some some of this ore that I picked up. I got a compass. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I don't really know what it does. Well, if you hold on it, onto it, you can combine some of the accessories to make mm -hmm. multiple things. Uh, okay. And then so I like I have a I have a depth route. meter, so that tells me how far underground I am. But you can combine that yeah. with like some of the other stuff, like the um. There's another one I have that's like a target finder, so that tells me if there's bad guys nearby. Uh, okay. So there's, uh, you can mix and match all these accessories, and then eventually there's one called the plan that just tells uh -huh. you everything that's going on around you in the game. Uh, okay. All right, I'm going to make a set of shadow armor since we have the scales now. Nice. Oh, and that's melee speed. Good, because I'm using the beekeeper, which is a melee weapon. Yep. And then I'll save the tungsten armor for when you die again. Yep. Let's see. Uh, where is... Yeah, it's a control alt delete meme. Wait, where did my iron ore go? There it is. Uh, we don't have any tungsten tungsten ore just lying in there. What a shame. Oh really? Nah. There's 21 tungsten bars. Yeah. Well, we got 24 now. There's 208 platinum, so you can make platinum armor next. Jeez, dude. If you wanted to. Uh, I may do platinum armor. Since I think that'll be like half of a half of our inventory for it. Yeah. Yeah. So we're at uh, 100 iron bars now, 111 copper, and where to go? 24 tungsten bars. Oh, excuse me. Wait, do you have the platinum on you? No, it's in one of the chests. Oh, okay. Because I'm looking at this one at just a 70. No, 208 platinum ore, not bars. I'm sorry oh, if I said bars. Aura. Okay. Oh, okay. There, There's the ore at. It's in the other chest. I was like, where's the ore at? The ora, ora, ora? Yeah. As a JoJo reference. Yes, it was. But uh, we are at 122 platinum now. Bars? Yeah. Excellent. So let's see. Oh, shit. <laughs> I already made it. Whatever. Got to commit to it. How do we make worm food? Vile powder and rotten chunk. What do we need vile powder from? Uh, you know what? I'm going to hold off on making the, the platinum pants. Because then we'll only be at like 50. So oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll leave it at 72. I, I made the, the helmet and the and the chest armor. And then uh, we can use the platinum for something else. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I may end up making a platinum pickaxe because I've been on this like iron pickaxe for a while. Oh yeah, I have a platinum pickaxe. It's a okay. good choice. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that, and I'll 
hold on to the iron it's ore. Probably the other thing that I've been how I've been able to gather so much is I actually have the Yeah. Oh, we need a placed bottle or an alchemy table. Do we have any bottles? Uh I haven't found any. Do we have any sand? Uh no. But I mean the desert is like right next door. That's true. <laughs> we have no sand. <laughs> I mean we haven't. Oh been wait, we got the... plenty of sand. Okay. Never oh, mind. Oh, do we? Yeah. Because okay. I was gonna say it's like I don't think we've actually been to the sand area in a while. Or, or the desert, I mean. You hope I get a flipper? I haven't found a flipper yet. Flipper? Yeah, it's one of the accessories. Uh, okay, okay. <clears throat> Let's you swim underwater. Nice. Oh man, this uh, platinum pickaxe is freaking fast, dude. Okay, now I should be able to make worm food. I'd have to make that at a cr demon altar. Oof. Well, there's plenty of those nearby. Okay. Well, I'm off to make worm food. Let's see. Oh, I swing crazy fast now. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah, I do. Nice. Yeah, I'm starting to reach my uh, OP for this stage in the game. Nice. How much money do I have? You can swim in all liquid, even lava still hurts, though. Oh. Uh, nice. Oh, I found an ancient shadow helmet. What's that, dude? It's the same thing that I crafted, but these guys dropped one. Nice. Whiffness potion. It's literally nothing. Help you move faster. Yeah, that is true. I gotta get uh, a garden and alchemy stuff set up for this game. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, because there's a lot of buffs that you can get from the alchemy stuff. Cool, cool. Oh, man, dude, you, you, you go so fast with the pickaxe. Yeah. Can I only fight the Eater of Worlds during the day? Or at night? I don't know. Oh, it can be summoned at any time of day. Okay, well then I'll just kill I'll kill him again. And then I can make you a set of armor. Nice. How fast are you gonna go through him this time? Probably faster since I'm uh, I got increased melee speed, so more hits means more bees, which means more damage. Oh yeah, now nah, you're you're already cutting through it, dude. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it there in time. And the armor means they take less damage now too. Oh really? Yeah. Nice. Because it's a higher quality armor. Nice. Hang on, there's still two segments. Hello? 
Okay, and right. one more. Here it comes. Got him. Nice. <laughs> Seal goes, Jesus Christ, that speed. <laughs> oh shit, little mini thing over here. Yeah, easy enough. You know, you Warm. could never get into Terraria. What? I liked Terraria. Yeah, even more I, than I've Minecraft. Liked Terraria more than Minecraft as well. I mean, I played a lot of Minecraft, but it was like, oh, hey, uh, here's actually some objectives you can focus on. I was like, oh, what? Really? It's like uh, Seven Days to Die. That's such a good game, too. Yeah. I heard they updated that finally. Did they? Did they? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They did, they did update. I, I remember now. Yeah, you and I played that so much with, uh, what's his name? Nurgle? Yeah. 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 Good times. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can cut through this, can I? With a platinum pickaxe? No. Can but I, I have powder. Yeah. So. Oh, oh and that, that just makes it normal again? Yep. You can buy it from uh, the Dryad. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Oh, here, one of those dudes. There he is. So I should have made a tunnel. Hey! There we go. Someone's chuffing. Yeah, he's literally right down there. But yeah, this is the, uh, the bat wing that I was telling you about. Oh, that thing is slow, but it's cool looking. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's, oh, no. I shouldn't be standing this close to the edge. All right. One down. Now there's, yeah, there's two more down there. It's like a, it's like a medium one and a smaller one. There you go. Okay. I feel like I should like it, but every time I try, I just kind of lose interest really quick. It's It's got a slow start to it. Yeah. I mean, even playing with Gondola, it took till this stream for me to finally start getting... The end of last stream, I got the musket, and I was like, okay, I can actually, like, kill things now. You know, because I was actually dealing damage. And now I have, like, some melee damage synergy. I'm like, now my character's, like, starting to come together. After however many hours we've been playing. Uh, eight hours, I think. Eight hours total, yeah. And, and like Minecraft, like, I think you gotta have the wiki up for this. It's not, there's no way you can memorize all the crafting. Yeah, there's, there's a lot to it. Because I was even looking up how to make warm food. I had to find two <laughs> recipe ideas and then a crafting station. Two different crafting stations. Jeez. Yeah, that is quite a bit. Oh god, it's the stupid poison fish again. Poison fish? I don't know what it is, but it's uh it looks like a lizard actually. And it spits poison and Oh like, like a salamander? Poison. Yeah, the salamander. Hate these things. Because they, they can just keep you away. Mm-hmm. And they have a lot of health. Yeah. Well I, I cut through them fairly quickly with uh with uh with this bat wing thing. It's like two hits and they're dead. Oh, the other thing I never told you is uh, I use bombs and dynamite a lot for mining. That's why I keep ending up with so many. 
Uh, so okay. much resources. And that's why we were like, hey, we need money to buy the minigun. I was like, I spent all my money on dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of... I just have a handful of bombs. Nice. Wait, where'd my... Okay. Are you going to go see the, the Sonic movie? Uh, I'm not sure. Huh. I kind of want to, but I still haven't seen the first movie yet. I haven't seen the first one either. Is it something where yeah. I need to see the first one to get? I think so. Oh. It, it looks like it's a direct sequel to it. So it it, will, it would probably help if you saw it. But okay. like I said, I haven't seen it either. But uh, maybe I'll watch it later. Maybe I'll, yeah, I'll probably watch it this weekend or something. Man, I'm just barely at two gold again. This sucks. Not me. I'm up to 28. Jeez. You want to buy another mini shark? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Jim Carrey carried the movie. I, I, I am glad that they redid Sonic's art. Because otherwise yeah. that was going to be so hideous. Cool. Yep. Why are there purple glowing worms outside? Don't know. I don't think I've ever seen purple glowing worms before. I think you need to see the first movie. The sur first movie was surprisingly good. Okay. I've just never been a big Sonic person either, so I don't know if I... care. <laughs> Is yeah. that bad to say? Nah. Like, if... If you didn't really care for care much for Sonic, then you know it's it's whatever. Meteorite has landed. Ooh. What's that? Algic ore? No, it's um this ore that it burns you if you pick it up. That's why you have to have the obsidian uh, skull uh, that I made for you. Okay. There's a couple things that you can make with it that are really cool. Yeah. But the meteorites also spawn these floating heads that run into you and self-destruct. <laughs> nice. So you have to like mine and then like be careful while you're mining. Nice. Yeah. And that's why it's important to have the platinum pickaxe that the platinum pickaxe that says can mine meteorite. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, mine says can mine meteorite. Yeah, I'm playing on the. I'm not playing on medium core. Gondola's on medium core. I'm playing on the casual setting where I only lose uh, money. Because I I played a solo character on medium core, and I gotta tell you, when I died and lost all my stuff the first time, I was like, I hate this. <laughs> I used to love Sonic when I was younger, but I was never good at the games. Yeah, I wasn't good at the games either. As a kid. Yeah, I was fairly decent. I never beat them, but I also never had the attention span to, you know, just beat a game back then. Well, I could beat Mario, but like, I don't know what it was about Sonic, but I was always just like, you have to be holding a movement button, you can't let go. I was like, no, there were moments where you have to stop, slow down, take the elevator up. You know, there was plat like uh, it was actually a good platformer, but while right. I was a kid, I just couldn't grasp that. Right, right. I don't know. I just didn't have like the attention span for it, so I was like, yeah, it's it's whatever. Faster die. That's how I tried to play the games, but I didn't know the maps very well to just hold right and jump when I needed to.
Is that your phone? Yep. Uh. Have to call the lady back later. Uh, okay. You tell her you're busy? She knows I stream, and I told her that I was streaming tonight. She's just in another time zone and with family, right. so she probably just got a moment uh, yeah, free yeah, yeah, from yeah. everyone. They're probably making her play Mahjong or something. <laughs> Does she not like Mahjong? I don't know if she knows how to play Mahjong. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't either. I remember playing it on, like, the computer once, so I was just like, I guess this is how you play it? Yeah, but the... I had it, like, on the... Windows Entertainment Pack, and it was just the uh, the match tiles game. It wasn't an actual, the actual game right. game. Oh, okay, okay. One of my first collab streams was uh, the Mojong. Yeah, I think I remember that. That was fun times. <laughs> oh crap! No, no, no! What did I do? What are you doing? Oh, uh, what am I doing? You like wandering into these bosses. I do. Okay, he does way more damage. I don't even know where you're at. You don't even show up on my. Uh, yeah, you, well, he just hit me for part. like 900 damage. Uh oh, because <laughs> the sun came up. Uh, what, does he do more damage in the daylight or something? Uh, I think he's a nighttime boss. And I just, like, uh, walked up and I talked to the old man and I, it was, like, curse, question mark? Uh, okay, okay. So I clicked the question mark option, of course, and he's like, oh, I'm actually Skeletron! Jeez. Alright, so old man in front of the dungeon. You can talk to him, just don't click the curse button. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Pop-Tart? Hey, uh, Pop-Tart. What's going on, dude? Said he was watching a subpar fighting stream. Uh, Whatever could he be <laughs> talking about? I don't know. There's there's a lot of subpar fighting streams out there. This is probably a uh, subpar Terraria stream, since I don't yeah. know what I'm doing. <laughs> Me neither. I've just been digging. <laughs> I gotta find this meteorite. So we can make space armor. Uh, you summon that boss by telling him to? Yeah, I figured that curse meant please fight me. Oh, the smash stream was... I did get my butt kicked in Smash. You're right, Lynn. <laughs> it happens. What could you do about it? Nothing. <laughs> I could only have been a better player going into it, and I wasn't, so... Eh. You, you've been practicing at that game for, like, a while now. Yeah, but... Not like tournament play practice. Yeah. Hey, I, I don't know if you watched it, but like 30 seconds into the first round, she was already like reading me perfectly. And I was like, this is not going to go well. Jeez. And she was calling it too. Like, and we're in voice chat together. She's like, okay. And now you roll towards me. I was like, how are you in my head? She's already predicting my moves. What do I do? Uh, play in a way that she can't predict your moves. It's that easy, dude. And then she caught on real quick that I always panic jump after I get launched off the stage so that it was easy to st edge guard me. And I was like, okay, I can at least recognize that I'm panic jumping. So then I start to try to come back from the stage re uh, low. And mm -hmm. then she's like, oh, I know how to play around that too. I was just like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pick a better character than Lucina. Uh, impossible. <laughs> play uh, Samus I'm not a good Samus player 
And neither am I. But I know that she's got some pretty decent moves. Studied all your moves, Samus. Yep. Did you ever watch that new Mortal Kombat movie? The new one? Yeah. No. It's bad. <laughs> it's like watching a Saturday morning cartoon. Okay, the ocean's to the left. Oh my god, I teleported back right in front of an ocean chest. You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> <laughs> now you gotta you gotta run all that way again. Well, thankfully the Hermes boots makes it a little bit easier. Yeah. I haven't found the meteorite yet, though. It's probably on the other side. Of... Uh, yeah, going that way, I think. Well, or is that, or is that the way that you were going? This was the way that takes to the dungeon, right? So I'm just going to uh, hop over the dungeon and see if it's beyond the dungeon. Probably is. Should I pick Game & Watch? Just walk up and hit a 9 hammer? Yeah! Yep. There's always that too. The other drawback was that Lieber played plays or played all the characters that I play. Uh-huh. So she just has that insight of, oh, I, I used to play Lucina, or I, I or she actively played Byleth, and I was like, okay, yeah. I'll swap to Robin, because I hadn't seen her play Robin yet. And then yeah. she revealed to me at the end of the stream, she's like, oh, I started off with playing Robin. I was like, oh my god. Jeez. Like, every character I played was an ex-main of hers or a new main for her. Like, all right, I don't have a chance. <laughs> Why did you think this was a good idea? I just wanted to collab with her. I've been, she was like one of the first VTubers I followed. Uh, and she threw out the challenge on Twitter and I didn't realize. I wasn't yeah. trying to underestimate her, but at the same time too, I was like, oh, she's like tournament level player. Hmm. <laughs> Cause like, I can't beat Johnny. I can't beat Zenji. Who can you beat? Uh, Cicero sometimes. <laughs> I, I think this is just one of those things, Will, where you're just going to have to say, like, this isn't your game. And that's okay. I play There's it for fun. I didn't, I don't, I'm not a tournament player, so I don't, you know, worry about competing in it, you know. Will. You don't have to cope. You can just quit and find a better fighting game. <laughs> Is Libra actually competitive in Smash? She said that she completed competed at local tournaments. So the answer to that would be yes. <laughs> it's all down to knowing your limits, then learning how you react. Or you play a real fighting game. What's a real fighting game? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, because I don't play fighting games anymore. Oh, okay. Nothing really catches my eye these days. Bro, I no think point. we got screwed on the meteor. I don't see it. Uh, oh, dude, it probably landed in the water. No, it probably landed in one of the cloud cities. Oh, jeez. That's even worse. Okay. <laughs> I like the idea of fighting games, but I'm not good at them. Fighting games have a level of strategy to them that I really enjoy. Like, what move counters what move? Like, you know, like Fire Emblem, Rock, Paper, Scissors, but it's real-time instead of turn-based. No one can ever counter me because I'm, un I'm unpredictable. You say that, but there's a lot of elements in fighting games where it's just like, I'm, I have a string of attacks that I want to do. Oh, no, I, I don't have that going into fighting games. I just legit, it's like, all right, I, I know what this does and I know what that does. And oh. he's open for that and he's not open for this. So then I just, I play based on what I see is open and what's not open. At least that's how I play uh, Bison. Because I I played Bison so much that I kind of got all his cooldowns, like, memorized. Or okay. at least muscle memory. So, like, if I, if I see someone doing something, like a Shoryuken, that's something I don't want to walk into. 
So I, I know it's something that I can like slide kick under and get them that way. So that's that's how I play my. I would main Kai in Guilty Gear. I did buy Guilty Gear Strive, but I didn't get very far in the tutorials. I have it. I really just need coaching. Uh, I can't help you with Guilty Gear because uh, that's not one of my fighting games. I play Eno and just mash. Okay, we need to make two more houses because I rescued the Eternia dude and the Fisherman. Nice. Well, I'm almost at to where you uh, teleported on that... Uh, that what's it called? That the underwater. Ocean. Yeah, there yeah. was a blue chest, and then I didn't see it until the glow, the magic mirror revealed it. Uh, how deep was it? Because I don't, I don't think I'd be, I'd be able to make it. It wasn't that deep. Okay, uh, I found Jimmy. Yeah, that's the fisherman. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can find it. Well, you pick know what, Jacko, a... introduce opponent to corner, win. Yeah. I was trying to learn Ram Lethal, Ram Lethal. Yeah, but she's pretty cool. I don't like the way she plays now in Strive. Uh, I like well, her. It's not like I liked her play style. I just like her design. So I was like, all right, I want to play. I want to play the character I simp for. Yeah. Uh, come on, almost back. Ah, I made it back. Made it back to the surface. All right, let's see. I saw something about a legendary something in there. But I didn't get to read all of it because I was like panicking trying to get out. Uh, Sandcastle. All right, so let's see. Sandcastle bucket, herb bag. Herb. Herb. Herbs. Uh, jungle grass seeds, blueberries. Uh, I don't know. All my shit's jacked up. Oh, you did get the chest. Yeah, I did. I just don't know what was in it because I. I was underwater and I was like about to run out of breath, so I just looted the whole thing. Okay, I found another one. Loot all. Break the chest. Teleport out. Alright. Oh, there it is. Legendary breathing reed. I got a flipper. Can I wear this underwater or something? Yeah, but you can only breathe near like the surface. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. Yeah, like those old uh, reeds that they would using cartoons yeah, yeah, yeah. okay I, I i thought it was more like i don't know i thought it was just like a nope you know you thought wrong but, yeah. <laughs> i'm sorry i'm being okay. <laughs> i'm being an asshole for no reason i know drank the mold potion yeah you did let's see I guess I can just recall myself back. It's no point in walking all the way back again. Eh, you know what? Maybe I'll just explore like the jungle area or something. My favorite fighting game is Tekken series in the 90s, Yoshimitsu main. Yoshimitsu was pretty cool. I liked uh, Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur was also cool. When that was, was out. When that was out on the uh, GameCube. Yeah, that's what I played it on. It was a uh, GameCube and Xbox for uh, Spawn and Link. And then, like, PlayStation 2 had Hayachi in. It was just kind of lame. Hayachi hey, was, was lame? Like, really? Yeah. No, it was just like, it's like, really? You, you couldn't find the PlayStation 2 exclusive? But then again, it was like, why was Spawn the Xbox exclusive? True. Link made sense, because Link is a Nintendo exclusive, but, like... I don't know. I guess, I guess they didn't really have anything that they could like throw into Soul Calibur. I just like the voice of the announcer too. Yeah. Soul Calibur 2. Yeah, he was he was pretty keno. Uh, let's see. What's that? Oh, more money. What's my money at? Uh, 3 gold now. Can I get you some nameless grass? We can find nameless grass. We just have to go outside and touch grass. <laughs> Freaking jungle bat. Troubles? 
Nah, it was just like being annoying. Oh, I have a ton of sand now. What are you gonna do with all that sand? I don't know. <laughs> I'm running out. I uh, running out of steam. Uh, are you? A little bit. Uh, that's cool. Rocky. Does Rocky need to go out again. Oh, he'd probably. It's about that time. Yeah, I'm cool with this. We got another what four hours out of this again? Uh, four and a half hours. Yeah, same as uh, last time. Oh, did we, we go this long that. last time? Uh, that's what it said on my character. Oh yeah, that's right. The characters have a timer on them. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm out of energy potion. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. You go outside. But no, I'm I'm cool with uh with this. We uh we got moderate amount of progress. We killed Some... uh three bosses. Yeah. Yeah. The Eye of Cthulhu, the Destroyer, and I killed the Bee Queen. Yep. Yeah. I killed well, the Bee Queen, Rocky. That. Well, you did all that because you kept stumbling into it. <laughs> yeah, but you helped me with the Eye of Cthulhu. You had the you had the mini gun for that fight. Yeah, that is true. All right, all right. Let me just clear out these dudes. No right. problem. There we go. Blood Moon. Oh, jeez. We can come back for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go ahead and close the server. Okay, cool. Save and exit. There we go. All right. My GF at the time played Valdo. It was fun going against her with my IV. Uh, <laughs> that's a pairing there. Yep, sorry, I usually I usually give a warning when I'm gonna end the stream, but I was like, oh my god, it's eleven thirty. I'm tired, Rocky's up. <laughs> Rocky needs to go out. He does. He's gonna lose track of time in this game. Uh yeah. Yeah, it's a great game. Now I'm gonna You keep like sliding further and further into the corner. There you go. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. I was just checking something else. Oh, okay. Well, you completely froze. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't <laughs> know. Like, if, every time I, uh, every time I like play this game or do do like the video ninja thing with you, it it always feels weird. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I wonder. Yeah. I wonder how, if it would be weird if I tried it with you. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Probably not. I'm trying to figure out why why like I look so blurry on a year end unless there's like a setting that I was didn't mess with or something like that. You don't look like blurry to me in OBS. No, nah, but on the stream I do. Hmm. So I don't know. Maybe it's a resolution thing on year end for OBS. Hopefully not. Cause I'm set to yeah. 1920 by 1080. Hmm. Yeah. Cause your, your model looks pretty crisp and clear, but like on your stream, I look a little fuzzy. You but are I, there, a little there, fuzzy. I am fuzzy. <laughs> uh, and like every now and then, like the the buffering quality like improves, and I actually look kind of high quality again. Huh. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's. Oh, you know, what? there's a little thing right here. No, this this isn't anything. Let's see. Yeah, you... no, this is nothing. Oh. Advanced video height, no advanced audio, no, that's nothing. Yeah, no, there, there's really nothing on my end that I can do. But uh, it's okay. This was fun though. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, you invited you. me basically. I'm, I'm literally on your stream, dude. Yeah, but you're <laughs> the one who said, "Hey, you want to play Terraria again?" I said, "Yeah, sure, let's do it." Okay. Yeah, I guess it was I'll, both. I'll give you credit. Games. Yeah, we're both geniuses. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chat. I gotta, I gotta take Rocky out and uh, call my lady. So that's what's, that's what's gonna happen. This is calling. That's true. It's whipped. Nope. Whipped. Nope. 
just engaged. <laughs> well, I hope you guys had fun with Terraria and uh, hanging out with us tonight. And uh, I'll be back Sunday. We'll be trying to finish Adelir Sophie. And I'll make sure to stream it in the morning so we'll my uh, my UK audience can enjoy <laughs> the stream at a normal hour for them. And we'll be chilling with coffee and stuff. Classic. So, Classic yeah. Sunday stream. Classic Sunday stream. Alchemy and go. chill with coffee. That's what you should call it. Classic Sunday streams. And they're starting to become classic, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah, you got triangle. No. When's your next triangle strategy stream? Uh, sometime next week. Uh, okay. I don't know yet. I have uh, I have another collab stream on Friday next week. Uh, what so, are you playing? Uh, we're playing Halo again. Uh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah. I haven't done a shooter on stream in a while. But uh, yeah, between now and then, I'll probably play Elden Ring and Triangle Strategy. Nice. Good, good mix of games. Yeah, oh. I'm probably going to be playing... Uh, Final Fantasy Origins, Sweet. if it is good, like all week or, you know, most of the week. Sweet. Are you, yeah, you said you'll be streaming it? Yeah. Uh, what is it? 1130. I'll probably like stream it for an hour or two. See how it goes. Oh, OK. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. <laughs> Jamie, I, it I'm says probably... go to sleep. Gosh, start it. <laughs> no, nah, I don't need to go to sleep. No, nah, I'm going to go. Do anything. I'm probably going to watch. Excuse me. I'll probably come back, watch some King of the Hill and wind down. Yeah. But I got to. All right. Got to go. It was a lot of fun. Thank you, Gondola. Yep. Thanks, chat. We'll see you guys next time. Can I talk to you a little bit uh, for like a minute for uh, some? What is it like future collab thing that I have? I have in mind. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Cool. 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 Like off uh, off stream. Of course. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Have a good night, everyone. <laughs>